Uh, Lee is just bewildered, I guess, by the... She looks at the Tiki Masala, hears this Tiki Masala, the signs say Tiki Masala, and is like, what's for dinner? What happened last Sunday? Okay, we... Um... We split up because we were going, I think... Um, uh, oh, it was the library. We started in the library. We went to, yes, we went to the library. We went to the library, and then we read about all that stuff. Um, we learned that there's some propaganda stuff going on, um, and then we read about the creation myth. But then we also learned that the Hito region kids are kind of brainwashed because of <laughs> propaganda going on. We tried showing hope our powers, and then we tried showing hope our powers, and she's still kind of um, skeptical because she's brainwashed as well. And then we went into that big circle room where Chris showed us that they could regenerate a ponytail's leg, which Reggie thought is super sp- sus because it's like, that's like straight up a conspiracy, I would think. Because we saw the ponytail that got uh, captured in the cave. And then. Wait, that ponytail didn't get captured, though. You guys, it ran away and then we caught it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So but we were trying to get captured. So that just connects the dots, you know, oh, why would okay. we Okay, and yeah. So then, um, um, we did that, we saw that, and then we tried to go downstairs, but there was a guard there, which was also kind of suspect, but whatever. And then we went to the dining hall, and we talked, and then we split up, and Cybex went with Xavier and Lori to have some drama, and then me and Lee went to go to the seance to find a cemetery. Yeah. Wow, not much happened last week, apparently. (laughs) My notes are so short. It's like less than a page. Yeah, I didn't realize how little ground we covered. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, great. You guys are also putting a lot on the other kids. You guys are definitely saying that they're all brainwashed. Maybe Maybe you guys were wrong and the Hito region is just better. No, I don't believe it. They showed you a cool video and it it showed that exact thing. In the Unova um, region, we have priests. We don't have them here. <laughs> that just um, goes to the most of us. So, uh, I guess if that's all that happened, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think anything else really big occurred in that uh, time, I guess. So, uh, uh, wait. Yes. Scarlet is coding something for Willow, for Rotogram. We found that out. Yes. That's I work it. in some capacity on something. Scarlet is a hacker. Um, she was awake. It was weird. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Um, I mean, there were probably some other things too, like Flora asking Anne to be in the show, and mm-hmm. I think there were some other things yeah. probably, but the, n- nothing like super major, I don't think, happened outside of those. Um, but then you guys left, obviously, and now it's dinner time. So, uh, to set the scene, I would say we're going to start with Lee and Reggie, who are walking towards the dining hall. That's where we ended last time. You guys were walking towards the dining hall. Um, and a bunch of other kids are obviously all heading towards the same dining hall because it is dinner time. Um, are you guys walking with the same people that you had the seance thing with, or are you just going by you two? How? Um, well, I split off before, just before. So yes. I'm going to the dining hall, and I guess I'll see we also there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and I. I mm-hmm. oh, sorry. No, you go. What were we gonna do? Oh, oh, I was just gonna. I was just following Reggie, and then I was. If I had a moment, I did kind of want to use my experience candy. I don't know if I can do that off screen technically, but. If you want to do it, then just do it. And then uh, just let me know you're using them, I guess. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I do. If anything big happens, um, <laughs> definitely. Say you guys are just walking towards the dining hall and there's uh, other kids going. Um, your Pokemon are still kind of hurt. So you might want to do something before, something next to the dining hall before you <laughs> get in there. But, <laughs> um, you don't have to. You can do whatever you want, and then you guys are, let's say you're at the dining hall at this point. Like, you're at this area that, I, that I'm that i showing. Yes. Um, um, so what are you guys, are you guys heading into the dining hall? A lot of the kids are 
funneling and now you know like it's 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 dinner time for sure and you you probably see some of the other kids in your camp uh like willow's probably in line and uh vin are like already like in the dining hall line but you don't see a ton of them yes um so we um we're going to the dining hall like look over there maybe we should heal our pokemon too oh yeah i'm not that i think pokemon are more important let's heal them Definitely. yeah i agree <laughs> Great. Wait, see? Let me see Pokemon. Do mine even need healing? Yeah. I think. Wait, hold on. He does Heidi though? I don't know if Heidi even took any damage. She did not take any damage. Oh, oh, she needs PP. PP. Okay. Her PP needs to be healed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Great. So you go up, and I assume you say that exact thing to the nurse Joy. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> absolutely we can heal its pp and then <laughs> uh she'll take them off you uh heal them up and then hand them back you know a as they normally do so your pokemon are all healed um if there's anything else you want to do in here otherwise you're free to do whatever you want um while we're here why don't we feed them some candy too oh yeah perfect timing okay, actually i think i can open up the spreadsheet on my ipad so you can do that okay so you want know, to cool yeah Okay, we're gonna feed him the candy. Great. So yeah, do that. And if anything happens, like leveling up, anything like that, definitely go yeah. over it. But and then after that, we're gonna go to the dining hall, right? Uh huh. Okay, that's well, it. I, sorry, I shouldn't say that. If you want to, that it is dinner time, and I know I'm assuming in game Lee would be cranky if she didn't get her dinner. So yeah, yeah, uh, that's true. Lee would probably want the dinner. <laughs> yeah. Wait, um, okay, wait, let me do that too. Um, I don't know what happens in the chat. Oh. Okay, so. I'm so excited, oh. that's what Catherine said. Oh! Wait, what? I want to use a rare candy on Opie and he evolves. I'll <gasps> say real quick. Just before you do that, um, not you can absolutely do it. I just want you to know that how rare candies work is it will boost them to exactly the minimum amount needed for the next level. Okay. So if you're close to the next level, I would not recommend doing that. Oh, yeah. Because, you, you know, if you're only 500 from the next level, you're only getting 500 experience. But if you waited till it got to the next level and then gave it, you would get, like, thousands of experience. True. Like 12, oh, like I, guess, I guess I just thought that, like, it would level up, but it would keep the same experience. But yeah, that makes sense. Okay. No, if, if you remember how they work in the game, it's the same in this. So I don't know what level it's at. Is it, would it go to level six? Yeah, it evolves level six. But yeah, that's okay. Never mind. How how close is that? Uh, um, 2,000. How many? 2,000 experience points. Okay, gotcha. Um, Yeah, I mean, if you think it's worth it to use it for 2,000 experience points, you absolutely can. I'm just saying that's all you're going to get is like, you're gonna get up to twelve thousand experience. Like that's right. That that is what the experience will be set at. Um, and if yeah. you waited for the next level, you would jump up eight thousand. Well, I had an epiphany, and I decided <laughs> maybe I won't give Opie some candy today. Okay. <laughs> um, so I mean, obviously, like I said, you can absolutely do it whenever you want. I'm just saying that if you're trying to maximize usefulness, probably wouldn't yeah. be right now. No, yes, optimization is what I live for. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Great. So you uh, you take it out of the mouth, you put it in Opie's mouth, and you're like, no! <laughs> Opie's probably really sad about that, but uh, you're like, this isn't optimal, Opie. You should know that. <laughs> I'm you don't do exactly. all of that. But that's just the vibe, I'm sure. That's exactly what happens. I'm like, Opie, this isn't optimum. <laughs> We're not doing this right now. <laughs> you can have a lick. You can have a little bit, but that's it. It's like five the rest. <laughs> oh, but actually, oh wait, no. Instead, I'll give him a protein. Yes. Oh. Great. I, do you know what that does? Otherwise, I have to look it up. It's probably plus one strength. I believe. It's whatever you asked for, and it probably is plus one strength. If I had to guess, it just sounds like it would be. Um. So great. Say so you can do that. Uh, you'll add that in the additional bonuses. You'll add one. Like a plus one, so its strength should always be up one more now. Um, I just added two and it made it level up. Oh. 
Uh, is, is anything else ha happening? Are you guys done with all the XP candy stuff then? Um, I'll do it later. I'm going to do it later, okay? Great. That sounds great to me. Um, so <laughs> we'll say you've you use them or well, whatever. We'll just figure it out later. It's fine. Um, so you guys maybe do some candy stuff. Maybe you put it off till later and then you walk over to the dining hall and you get in line and today it's probably uh, tiki masala for dinner. You know, um, and yes, yeah, so you guys are in line getting your food. You're surrounded by people you don't know. N none of the other ki kids are standing in line with you. What, what do you guys, are you guys uh, just waiting? Like, what's what's happening? You guys are in line. Just kind of loitering. Great. Yeah. <laughs> cool. What's for dinner? Rock and duck masala. Come on, Lee. Tikka masala. Tikka masala? Yeah. I said that. <laughs> Well, fuck it, I wasn't listening. Shit. <laughs> That's the problem, Lee. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I wasn't listening. That's okay, not a defense. That's I'm like just... admitting you, you, you're doing a bad thing, by the way. <laughs> That's like saying, I was drunk driving. How was I supposed to know that sign was there? You know what I mean? I was drunk. It's not really. Come on. You know? Okay. So. Uh, Lee is just bewildered, I guess, by the... She looks at the tiki masala, hears this tiki masala, the signs say tiki masala, and is like, what's for dinner? And then, um... I get the tiki masala on my plate, and I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, so you get the tiki masala. Um, and Raji, you also get yours, so you guys go through the line, and you guys exit the line, and now you guys can go to your table if you want. Yay. Okay, yeah. So it sounds like you guys would go to your table. Where's um, Simon? Great, so you know, you've asked, so I'm actually going to have Cymex describe what's happening at the table. Because That's I don't, not what we talked about. Okay. That is not what we talked about, but... Damn it! Um, so, Cymex, yeah. you're going to go over uh, at the table is most of the kids mm -hmm. at this point, so you can describe whatever is hap whatever you are doing or any of the kids you'd be interacting with. I think the only ones that wouldn't be there are uh, Devi... Anne and uh, Nikki were are still in line, so they were behind Reggie and Lee. So besides them, all the other kids are there. So you can describe whatever you're doing, um, uh, and you're at the table. I'm at the table. Or can yeah, I you're at the line? table. You know, already. Oh. With the other kids. Uh huh. I'm just not. I just want you to describe, like, what are you doing? Are you interacting with any of the other kids? Are they interacting with you? Like, what is? What is going on? Lee's looking to see where Cymex is. Uh -huh. And Cymex uh -huh. is at the table. So, so I'm what's already happening? at the table. Yes, I yeah. understand. I didn't know if I was coming in, going through the line, or if no, I was already at the table. You're at the table. And you're just, I'm at the I'm table. Not, yeah, you're going to describe what's happening with Cymex and in relation yes. to any of the other kids if they okay. would come up. Um, Xavier's probably sitting in his spot next to me, right? So the normal spot, yeah. Yep, the huge. You can decide at this point. Like, I'm letting you, like, you're deciding. Yeah. So, yeah, so he's there. Great. Okay, he's there. He's there. <laughs> We're here. And I ha I've been holding Metapod this entire time, even though the sign says no Pokemon. Aww. Um, uh, Like, a baby or whatever. Um, And I'm like, uh, you look hungry, too. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, oh, what's in my bag? And, um get the two 250 experience candies and be like boop boop <laughs> great eats metapod um, metapod eats them however metapod is able to eat things in its shell. it's like you push it through the eye and the like pupil like expands and then just goes Ew! That's, <laughs> yeah that's definitely horrific but it's that's how terrifying. it happens uh, it's terrifying i love it i give um, you the reins that's what happens you shove it <laughs> through eye you did this um and then uh, my thing, my thing beeps. And I'm like, what? Oh, what is that? And um, I'm like, oh man, oh, dude, it's look, it's 25, it's 25 away. I, oh, dude, holy moly. Oh, I could, I could get a Butterfree right now. Do you, how do I get 25 experience? Do you have, could I pay you? Who, who are you talking to? Xavier, she's right here. Okay, great. Yeah. Do you? Like, yeah. You're 25, and you need what? I need 25 <laughs> XP right now. 
<laughs> Would this work? It'll hand over um, some candy thing in his hand. I don't know. Thank you so much. Uh, so it sounds like you take it, and it is the first experience candies you got where there are 100 experience. So it's not the 250 ones, it's the 100 ones. Um, okay. I'm going to shove that in Metapod's eye. <laughs> yeah. So you're super excited, right? Like you're uh, moving around, probably shaking the whole table, it sounds like. Yes. Um, I think <laughs> yeah, the other kids like milk are spilling. Uh, Lee and Reggie are coming by. I think Anne in the line would be also really excited. Just seeing excitement is also up for it. But you uh, you take that thing and you shove it into its eye. Uh, it absorbs it. And uh, if you know how these things work, it levels up, right? And yeah, in that yes. leveling up, it starts to uh, okay. pulse white light. Um, and you're going to hear a really loud voice say, go outside, <laughs> take it outside. Charlie is uh, behind you, uh, yelling at you as your metapod is like pulsing white light. Oh my God. Uh, brighter and brighter. What are you doing? Are you just, I, gonna, what are you doing? I'm trying not to trip over the table and I'm running outside, like holding metapod up, like Simba. <laughs> okay. Grace. <laughs> I yeah. think people are like looking at you. What, what's happening, Reggie? Okay. Anyway, I'm so disturbed. I'm still disturbed from the fact that it eats through its pupil. Like, <laughs> like, we, just, like, we just saw Starbucks like shoving things into Metapod's eye, and it just starts exploding. So, right as Lee and Reggie are putting down their plates, you know, like sitting down, really confused with what uh, Cymex is doing. Cymex gets up and runs or runs away. Out wow. runs outside as the, the, the pulsating light. The light becomes like nearly blinding. I'm uh, yelling, it's happening! <laughs> uh, you've disturbed a lot of the cafeteria. Uh, th no, uh, Charlie is like angry, you know, standing back there, like in a scolding type manner um, <laughs> that you had a Pokemon inside. And right as you get outside, the light flashes and what, 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 uh, it's Butterfree, right? So there, there's a Butterfree sitting in your hands now instead. Uh, and you're face to face. Right, right, just just outside of the Poke Center, looking at your at Podrick's newest evolved form. I start crying. <laughs> okay, so you start crying. Um, I think the, the Butterfree would like wipe it, you know, with like the little hand, um, the, the little hands that it has. Um, I can't the tears in its little claws. <laughs> It's like the nectar thingy, like <laughs> yeah. unrolls. I was thinking hand, not the nectar thing. That's gross. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna wipe that, um, and probably like jump up in your hands. I think uh, Podrick will be really happy now. It's able to move. It's bloodlust. It's funny. Uh, <laughs> sated. And I think it would try to like flap its wings and like stand in front of and start flying in front of Cymax. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. It's here. Oh my god. Oh. So yeah, I think oh. Podrick would be trying out its new wings around you. Uh, oh my god. I just out. start taking pictures. Like, they're all blurry, but like, I'm still gonna just like... Yeah. Thing. <laughs> Great. So yeah, you, you're, you're taking pictures of, you're excited, and you have a Butterfree now outside. Uh, uh, what do I do now? This okay. Oh yeah, we have to go over how you how evol have how evolution works. Um, yep. Is now the time to do it? <laughs> that was so good. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Six hundred equals. Oh, no. We're we're gonna have to do it before like the tournament thing starts. Um, but it's pretty yep. simple, right? So it levels up. And I don't know, I think it probably rolls like a D8 for health. But then it's also going to gain 12 health for evolving. And mm -hmm. then you distribute 8 points eight into points. its ability scores. Dang. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. My baby. <laughs> um, and I would probably look at what moves it gets as well. So I would... Yeah, anything... Other than tackle and hugging. <laughs> Here, here's here's what I, I mean, would just change it. Pretty good. I would change it right away 
to a Butterfree real quick. Or not not right away, sorry. I would what you should do is you should do evolve to yes. Oh evolve to a yes. Y. Oh I see. I see then, you're on it. And then from <laughs> to <laughs> Oh, it gets all messed up. Um yeah, but right. uh, from from Metapod and then change it to change yes. from to Metapod, the, the thing right beneath it. Oh, from to Metapod. I see, I see, I see. I'm too excited. No, I deleted the whole thing. Okay. Oh, no. Me Metapod. Meowth. It evolved from a Meowth. And then uh, two, and then put it species as Butterfree. Species, species, species. That's the thing you were just on, where you're on Metapod. It's at the oh. top. It's a Butterfree. Okay. 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 So if you now now you can see so now it's its stats are all the same right mm -hmm. so you can add eight to that um and you also apparently butterfree you roll a d10 so instead of that d8 roll so move it down move it roll a d10 okay okay so ten so instead of fifty. So you, you, what you'll do is you'll add 22 health because it, it's you had double its level, so it's 12 because it evolved, and then you add 10 because you rolled a 10, yep. and then you'll also add three because it has a three con. 73, holy shit. Yes. Holy fucking So you'll, it'll get 73, and then <laughs> you can take its moves, so it starts with... You can look through those moves and take them, and then you can distribute those eight points. I would do the moves first so that you know what stats your moves use before, like, mm -hmm. like maybe none of your moves use strength, so you don't want to put all eight points in strength or something, if you know what I mean. So can I change all of the moves to any of the ones that are the starting and the level six? Yes. You can keep Harden or Tackle, or you can get rid of all of them. Um, okay. So yeah. Uh, I would do that, and we're going to jump back to Lee and Reggie. Yep. Bye. That's fine. Great. That's so, Thank you. Um, Semex is freaking out and trying to, like, you know, do all the stuff they have to that evolution takes. It takes a good amount. So uh, crying. Their, their, <laughs> their pictures are blurry. Their eyes are blurry. And as they're doing that, um, the, the other two of you are going to get – you guys are at the table. Um, what, do, what are you guys doing? Uh, just kind of eating and talking yeah. about – what just happened? But not eating as enthusiastically, <laughs> honestly. Um, cool. But eating nonetheless. Uh, that was cool. What just happened? Yeah, I never seen Pokemon. I mean, I mean, I guess I have seen them evolve at some point, but yeah. like, dang, uh, Samex is the first one to have a Pokemon evolve. How want my Pokemon to evolve? I know it's really cool. Yeah. And then Brick's gonna say, "I had a Pokemon evolve." <laughs> you did. Yeah, my Tyrogue is a Hitmonlee now. Whoa, whoa, wait, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah, it happened off screen. It happened <laughs> this afternoon. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, thanks. <laughs> um, you, you guys should see it, but then it's probably going to butt in. No Pokemon. Uh, that, even that Cymex kid, your guys' friend Cymex, tell, tell him that, that that's bad. We don't, we don't have Pokemon in here. Remember the sign? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Will do. Good. And then uh, Charlie's gonna walk away, uh, back to their office <laughs> and or the trading post, wherever they're going. Um. So. Yeah. So Brick's excited about his new Hitmon Lee. He's like, yeah, you guys will probably see it in the tournament. Oh right. Oh, I right. forgot about that too. Oh, shit. Kick his, kicking some butt. Yeah. That's. Oh my god. I don't look ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't you get your ass like? Didn't like Ronald wipe the floor with your butt? Yes, yeah. yes he did. <laughs> but now you got a new Pokemon. You got the um Dust Clops, right? No, I no. didn't catch it. Dust oh you didn't. It was no. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Well that's okay, you got plenty of other Pokemon, it's fine. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, the more I think about it, I probably should have caught that dust clops. I mean dust call. But whatever. That's alright. It's okay. Um we're good still. Uh, but yeah, really train or something for this. Yeah, well, I got this experience candy, so you know. True. That's it. <laughs> That's oh, what I can do. Yes. <laughs> All right, so while you guys are talking, um, 
someone's gonna tap you on the shoulder, Reggie. Okay. Uh, assuming like you're turning. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's Marcus. He's like, Mark? "Hey, bro, nice job on that uh, on on pranking Ronald." Oh yeah, I can't take credit for that. It was all Lee right here. Oh, True, it nice. was a, a little bit quieter, please. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's a good idea, because uh, I think Ronald's actually trying to find out who did it. He thinks someone at our camp did it, but, um, you know, we went to it. of the Pony Talk Club. <laughs> oh, the, club. Whoa, you're just like some badasses. Pony Talk Club Club. Yeah. Sometimes we read books, but sometimes we pull pranks, you know? Yeah, you rip some hair out. That's great. Holy yes, shit. nice. <laughs> nice. Do you want to take like, a video of it? Oh, I don't, well, we didn't. We had no idea what was happening. It was super early in the morning. Did you guys have a video? No, no unfortunately. Dang. Well, hopefully you guys got a picture of him afterwards. Oh, we pretty did. rough. I, I'm going to show him the picture on my phone. Let's do that. Sweet. There we go. That's what I like to see. Uh, if you guys are going to do any more of that in any of the points I club, definitely let Marcus and the, uh, the Camp 19 know. <laughs> we'll help. Yeah, we'll sure. Cool. And then uh, and he's like, oh, shit. Ronald's looking over here. I'm going to go. Okay. <laughs> and he heads off um, back to the Camp 19 uh, area. So, yeah, that's happened. And you guys are back to eating. Um, Cymex, are you... What's happening with you? Are you still figuring things out? now. <laughs> Dang, maybe we don't want our Pokemon to evolve. <laughs> um, well, uh, the other two of you, you guys saw Cymex run out with an evolving Pokemon, and I'd say you're probably... Are you guys just going to stay in there and eat? I guess that's really what I'm asking. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's hurry up and eat so we can go out and join Cymex. True. Yeah, yeah let's eat fast. Let's eat really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. So... Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So you slurp up uh, all the tea you saw. You just you know inhale it all, um, and I would say Semex is it's taken a while out there for sure. Um, you know, Wait. with all the tears and all the math, and it's just it's just, it's a lot to try to go through <laughs> for uh, Semex. So um, you guys, Semex is still outside, and you guys are done with your food now. What, now what's happening? Uh, we're gonna go meet Semex outside. Great. So you guys get up yep. and you uh, head outside. Um, you, know, you open the doors, and I would say, Simex, are you just standing out, like kind of right outside of them, like it happened, like when Metapod evolved? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll what? Just be right there. So what, oh. what do they see when they walk out? What are you doing? Um, Butterfree is flying around, and I'm still just crying. And <laughs> Yeah, what, what, what are the other two you doing then? That That is what you see as you guys exit. Um, I'm going to be like, Simus! Oh my god, is that is that Podrick? <laughs> yes. I'm afraid of bugs still, kind of, and now Podrick is mobile, so I definitely <laughs> want to provoke it coming near me. I want to I wanna feed Podrick something. Oh. Great. <laughs> what? I think I have, like, lunch... <laughs> Dude. Yes. Yeah, roll me an animal handling. I think Podrick would definitely like food, so it should be a really easy. I want to try to feed it. Uh, okay. Let's see. Podrick said I'm the best trainer ever, and then evolved, and now it's here. It's, it's not so a What? <laughs> How did it speak? <laughs> I can talk to Pokemon. What? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, what? Yeah, I can talk to Pokemon. And so can Xavier. He got me, he, he like talked to Pokemon into being my Pokemon. Now I have a combi. Can I release wait, the combi? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you can release the combi. I release the combi and so they can be playing friends. So, Aww. yeah. Oh my god. I mean... I just don't want that thing to sting me, but also, <laughs> the, I feel like this is very exciting, but it's also a little bit more exciting you can talk to Pokemon. Can you talk to my Pokemon? Yeah, what the hell? Please? You can talk to Pokemon? Yeah, but, like, 
you can only I can only do it two more times today, so I should save that. Oh. <laughs> How did you find out you could talk to Pokemon? What it's happened? Xavier. What? Xavier. Xavier he told you to watch Pokemon? Yeah, he taught me. Where is he? Well, how does he know? How does he know to talk to Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know. Ask him. Shit. What happened on that trip? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> this is shy. So I like there's a lot going on. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I want an explanation. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to be like, uh, my emotions are so high. I'm going to go like peek back inside and see if Xavier's there to look at this uh -huh. thing. Uh, also, and Anne. I want to, I'm excited. Can I meet eyes with Anne and get her to see? Um, okay, cool. So, will that happen? Also, Podrick did, you were able to successfully have Podrick eat out of your hand. Uh, you probably That's weren't even so paying cute. attention with what Cymex was saying. Um, <laughs> it sounds like you immediately lost interest in feeding Podrick by yeah. speaking with animals and <laughs> all that other stuff. So, but then uh, Cymex, uh, in the middle of your guys' question, pretty much just turns uh, away and is like, I'm done answering these, uh, opens the door, looks inside. Um, I would think you would definitely meet eyes of Xavier, who would be like looking over the person next to him, you know? Um, and you'd meet eyes, and he would do, uh... oh, okay, so you do that. Um, and he's going to like slowly get up, and he'll start walking outside. Um, and then you also want to meet eyes with Anne. Um, I think it would take a little bit to get Anne's attention because Anne's probably like just you know run, do look at different things. But they she did see you run outside, so she, I think she eventually would like be looking over, and would and would see you. And what what are you doing for Anne? Okay, gotcha. So Anne will like jump up and run, probably hit Xavier on the way out. You know <laughs> what I mean? And just like keep running because Xavier was walking. Uh, <laughs> Anne's like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Come see, come see, come see. All right, she's outside with you. Uh, Xavier is still, like, coming. He's not there yet. Okay, I'm just going to start pointing and say, these are mine. <laughs> oh, what? you have two flying bugs now? Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> um, she's going to try to, like, jump up and grab onto Butterfree. Um, oh, no. Just try to like, <laughs> pull Butterfree down. But it's like, too high. Butterfree's, like, flying up a little bit, it's and Anne's too, too short. Um... Like, that's so cool. When did you get these? Just now. Wait, is this Podrick? That's Podrick. And I just start crying again. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. I think Ed would be, like, wiping them away. Like, that's so cool. That's so cool. As oh, he's, like, no, uh, so wiping your tears and looking at you. Um, so I am super excited with the new Pokemon. Um Xavier's about to get outside, but what are the other PCs? So Anne's super excited, yelling about stuff. What are you guys doing? Uh, Cymex is, yeah. What, what, what are you guys doing? I'm waiting to accost Xavier in front of how he can talk to Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you guys are both doing that. So right as Xavier steps outside, <laughs> if this is what you're waiting for... Xavier! You could talk to Pokemon? Yeah, can you talk to my Pokemon? How do you talk please? to Pokemon? How'd you figure this can out? Can you teach me how? I want to know too. He's gonna close the door and go back inside. You know, <laughs> he, he had just stepped outside, and you guys were like yelling at him. And he's like, ah, uh, and it's gonna close it very slowly um, in front of you. Uh, oh, okay. You guys accept that? Um, after like a few seconds, I think he'd peep his head back out and like look. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah. What? How do you yeah. I'm, we're gonna ask like more calmly this time, yeah. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> Simex told us you can talk to Pokemon. Uh, Could you explain? Tell us. Yeah. Um it's just a thing I and anyone else that's a ranger can do when we're strong uh, enough. Ranger? Yeah. Like you guys are things, right? Uh Lee, you're like a fire person oh yeah pyromaniac yes <laughs> oh no like a type like a fire master like oh a, a type master yeah 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 and reggie you're like a whatever you are <laughs> ace trainer <laughs> oh yeah yes you're one of those so you guys get things right we get to talk to animals that's so pokemon crazy. whoa what do they say 
Yeah, uh, only good things, of course. <laughs> They're very nice. Um, oh. yeah, yeah, I could talk to one of yours if you want. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, okay. Which which one? Okay, I'm gonna give them. Uh, I'm gonna give Sass Master to talk to. I feel like he would be the meanest. Have a lot to say. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're gonna role play Sass, so he's gonna. I'm gonna be asking you. Like Xavier's gonna be talking to Lee, the character. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like you're role playing uh, Sass Master. Yeah, you let out yeah. Sass Master. Um, yes. And Xavier's gonna like crouch down and look at Sass Master. Uh, and he's gonna say, "What's your name?" Oh, so I get to control? Yeah, you are Sass Master in this moment. Oh, wow, uh, okay. And so... Xavier will be communicating to the humans and then also talking to the Pokemon. Okay. It's Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's actually Ted. I don't know where, where this goes. Oh, no. Okay, that's not true. Yeah, <laughs> that's not true. Okay, so Sass Master, I feel like, is going to ignore um, him at first and just, like, hmm, and look away. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna like look up at Lee, like the uh -huh. person Lee. He's like, "Is this? He's not funny to talk. Do you want uh, to keep trying?" Yeah, just keep trying. He's he can get a little like uppity, you know. It's fine. Is there something I should? Is there something he likes? Oh, um, maybe you could try brushing him, and I'm gonna give Xavier um some of the Vulpix brushes. Cool. So Xavier is yeah. going to try to brush. Mm -hmm. um, so he's gonna do an animal handling, and he's probably something. Oof! Ooh, oh no! Um, okay, <laughs> so here's what's gonna happen, right? So he he's gonna start brushing Sass Master, and what would how would Sass Master's reaction? What do you think Sass Master's reaction when Sass Master absolutely hates it? Well, it sounds like he's gonna pull a snag or something. Yep. He's, okay. He's gonna pull a tangle. Sass Master's like, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> ow! <laughs> Oh, what language. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sassmaster has a very foul mouth, Lee. You're a terrible brusher. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Even um, my trainer's not that bad at brushing. <laughs> uh, your trainer thinks higher of you than me, Lee? I oh, sorry, your Pokemon does. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> but ask, yeah, I guess. Maybe ask um, him exactly what he thinks of me. Uh, Sass Master, what do you, what do you think of Lee, your trainer? Uh, I'm indifferent. I mean, she brushes me and feeds me food. She, uh, she called me a girl for a while. To be honest, I can't tell if she's a boy or a girl, though. Apparently, people <laughs> tell me she's a girl. But, uh, I mean, I guess I can understand where the confusion comes from. She's very androgynous. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess she's all right. She's a little loud and a little touchy, I guess. Okay, so yeah, Sassmaster, Sassmaster is going to be saying all this, right? And this takes a while, right? So Sassmaster's talking, talking, talking. And Xavier's <laughs> going to turn to Lee and says, he likes that you brush it, him. <laughs> so that's all he says after like a minute of Sassmaster <laughs> talking. <laughs> he says one, sorry, uh, it says one sentence to you. He likes that you brush him. Oh, is is that really all he said? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Does that master not like me? Because sometimes I get this vibe that he doesn't like me. I wouldn't say not likes, just indifferent. Oh, well, that's a little bit better. Okay, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. So, yeah, you're doing great, Lee, I think. Nice. Okay, so he says that he says that you're doing great. What would, how would Sassmaster respond to him saying that you're doing that Lee's doing great? It's like okay, well let's let's gear it back like a couple of notches. <laughs> we should give credit where credit's due. Mm -hmm. and yeah. What's that? Me, I'm so beautiful. <laughs> Sassmaster thinks they're really beautiful. Okay, yeah, no, I get you. Uh, so yeah. Xavier's gonna be like, that that sounds right, Sassmaster. Yeah, and also, I don't like it when Heidi licks me. I don't like being that wet. Mm, should I tell <laughs> Lee that? Uh, yeah, please. Thank you. So he's he's going to turn to you and uh, says, well, Sassmaster thinks that they're very beautiful. He's very beautiful. Uh-huh. Uh, of course. And mm -hmm. that may, uh, and doesn't like that Heidi licks him. 
Okay. Um, yeah. So maybe tone it. that down, I think, is what it sounds like. Okay, well, Heidi really likes to groom, so I guess I'll let Heidi let Princess Sparkles instead. And then he'll he'll communicate that to Sassmaster, that Sassmaster will, won't have to deal with that anymore. Nice. Thank resolution. You. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a little conflict resolution. Um, cool. Uh, is there anything else that... what Xavier asks, is there anything else you want me to ask Sassmaster? Um, I want to know, I want to know what I can do to make, or does Sassmaster want to evolve into a Ninetales? Okay, he'll turn to Sassmaster and ask, uh, oh. how, how do you think, how do you feel about being a Ninetales? Uh, yeah, that's even more beautiful than being a Vulpix, and there's not that many things, like, better than that. So, I say, the sooner the better. And he'll turn, he's like, the sooner the better. He's oh, really right. Into it. Yeah. Noted. He'll be the prettiest bell at the ball. He didn't yeah. exactly say that, but I think it was in his voice. Okay. <laughs> I imagine, now I'm starting to imagine Sassmaster's voice is like this very foppish. Oh. Um, yeah, put on the voice. Do the voice right now. I don't know. Do it. I don't know how. Do it right Why now. Why don't you do it? It's your Pokemon. I don't know how to do yeah, it. Voices are hard. <laughs> I agree. Oh, oh, well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> well, I don't really like it. <laughs> Is that Italian? <laughs> yeah, Italian. Yeah. Mamma mia. <laughs> no, he's not Italian, okay? Oh my but he could, he could like wear a monocle and stuff and it would fit. Yeah. What I'm just trying like to get him. <laughs> I hate it when Heidi licks me all the time. Her disgusting tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. In my horrible ways. <laughs> yeah. I think Xavier would uh, no, latch on to the thing that uh, Sassmaster kept saying they were very beautiful. He's going to ask if clothing, if there's like any type of clothing or articles that would make Sassmaster, if Sassmaster think they'd make him more beautiful, or if Sassmaster is just all natural all the time. Like, <laughs> if, like what? What is? What do you think Sassmaster's? Is there a way to make Sassmaster more beautiful in Sassmaster's eyes? Well. I think, oh, darling. <laughs> darling, please, nothing could improve this. However, complimenting mm. this aesthetic, yeah. um, let's see, perhaps a silk ribbon, ribbon, <laughs> a bow in my, my tail, uh, six bows for each of my tails. <laughs> six bows? Okay. Yes. One for each tail, darling. Mm -hmm. There we it's go. So cute. Yeah. Oh, and that's yeah. There you go. So Xavier wants to say, uh, Lee, it sounds like if you want to make Sassmaster more beautiful, which is what Sassmaster is really about, uh, <laughs> get a silk ribbon. Didn't say what color, unless he did he. Mm, no, he didn't say. As long as it's and silk. then six bows, one for each tail. That, that, that'll complement uh, the extreme beauty he exudes. That pretty much his words. Okay, okay. All right, uh, I'll see if I can do something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to look at Sassmaster and be like, okay, Sassmaster, I'm going to try and get you your ribbons, your bows. Mm -hmm. And Sassmaster will respond with, as you should. <laughs> Very nice. Um, Xavier will say he's excited about that. Yay. Um, so yeah, that, that is the conversation. It lasts for 10 minutes, by the way, this spell does. Um, okay. I don't know necessarily if that conversation took 10 minutes, but we say, we'll say it, it did. Okay. He's like, well, I'm kind of running out of the juices for that one. Um, but yeah, oh. any ranger, like Cymex uh, could do it too. Oh. Thank you, Xavier. Thank you. I've learned so much about Sass Master, so I really appreciate you using some of your juice. Yeah. Yes. What does what your Pokemon think about you, uh, Xavier? Have you ever talked to him before? I'm very uh, punchable, <laughs> Ryolu. Um, and I move around too much, according to Evie. Uh, <laughs> but. You know, I think okay overall. They just have some critiques, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess punchable is just a compliment. It's just a painful <laughs> one. Or repeatedly yeah, painful one. Is really loves, likes, enjoys punching you, I would say. Mm hmm. Yep. I think so. That's what he says. <laughs> I see. Wait, so, so Stomix, what does your Pokemon think of you? 
Audrey said, I'm the best trainer ever. And I'm just going to start crying again. Like, I haven't finished crying. I'm still just, like, very excited. I think Xavier would, like, hand you some water. <laughs> like, sniffle, sob, like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Second time today you've had to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I feel like uh, Obi would have a country accent. Wait, what? <laughs> have a country accent? No, I'm just like, thinking, hey, y'all. No, I feel like I feel like Obi would probably have a country accent. You can find out if you ask, and someone's willing to talk with them. No, that's fine. It seems like everyone's out of juice right now. Maybe some other time. But I just have a feeling, you guys. I feel like Obi would definitely have a country accent. What? Well, <laughs> Like a Southern Belle kind of Carolina girl, or like a. I would think more like a banjo kid. <laughs> now I'm just a simple country boy. <laughs> like an Appalachian way, it's really fast and like nasally and like up here and like. Yeah. You can't really understand what's happening now. A lot of twang. Yeah. All um, right. So yeah, you 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 guys have discussed what Opie's accent will be like, but you guys don't know if that's what it if that's actually what it's gonna sound like. Um, you guys have grilled Xavier on the talking with animals part of uh, what happened. Are you guys gonna be asking anything else? Um, yeah. Are, are you guys going? What's happening? Is, is there anything happening? I would like to talk to Xavier and Simon again, just to be like, hey, you guys, what? Happened on that trip that you guys went on. Can we get some beats? I am yeah. not paying attention. Xavier yeah. won't answer that either. Xavier clearly heard. Not good at, but he's not gonna like give an answer. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna assume you killed her and dumped her body in the wild, which is fine for me. <laughs> Well, okay, we'll just go with that. Uh, well, we, we and I, we are uh, going to a seance, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, we attended a seance, and some ghostly things happened, mm -hmm. and... Reggie had a vision? I had a vision. It took yeah. him to the cemetery We went to graveyard. a cemetery, mm -hmm. and we fought this death noir, and it was, like, really crazy mm -hmm. and angry, mm -hmm. but we fought him, Well, because, because Reggie dug up his grave. Well, because we needed an item... So it was justified, but he was obviously very justifiably angry. Also, but he we, just created the grave. But we fought him, and then we got our item, and then we just left. Pretty cool stuff. Yep, just a normal day. Yeah. <laughs> I feel less criminal now. I really started paying attention now. <laughs> oh, you did something illegal too. What happened? I didn't do anything illegal. I didn't get in trouble this time. Whoa. Whoa! Nice. Actually, uh, killed somebody. Uh, oh. Like, yeah, Lori is really good at fighting. Like hand to hand. No, like her Pokemon love. She has a love disc, and it's so fucking cool. And I'm just gonna oh like my. start praising the the love disc. Like it shoots water. It's so powerful. It's so cool. It's so cute. Whatever. Mm. None of that is true. I mean, the cute part, yeah, but love just doesn't evolve. It's kind of It doesn't evolve. Oh, no, it doesn't evolve. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. just so cool in this one fight, and Xavier did a one hit, and I'll start saying, like, whatever Wait, so good things about Xavier. For who battled? Yeah. Who's battling? Uh, I don't remember. It was really cool, though. They both did, like, one hit wonders, and it was awesome. And then also we found we found a treehouse, you guys. Oh wait, should I say that? Is that okay? Can Yampers stamp? I want to go to a treehouse. <laughs> yeah, you've already let it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oops. There's a treehouse. There's a treehouse. We found Xavier. Show them the map, and I'll like hit him a bunch. Uh, <laughs> pat him. Like, friendly pats on yeah. the shoulder. He'll uh, pull out something from his backpack, and it's like this big. He'll kind of like unroll like a map in front of him. There's like a large map that he's holding, um, and it looks like it has like the general shape of one of like the forests that's in the capturing area. And on that map, there's like a an X, like a little like a little house marked, um, and it has a name written under it and a different uh, text than anything else. And it says, "Look, D 
DM to a map. DM? I don't know who that is either. We should ask around. <laughs> Wonder what that stands Wait, for. Where is, this, where is this map from? What is it it's telling us? We found it the secret tree house in the oh. forest and found this map of the forest. And there's like, I left food there just in case we need to go back at some point. Oh, we should definitely go back. I want to go to the tree house. Oh, I want to go. I want to go. So I wanna cool. Go. I want to go. We had a naming contest and Xavier picked my name and it's called Yamper's Den. <laughs> Yamper's Den. Yamper's Den. Yamper's Stamp. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it rhymed. It was Yamper's Stamp. Yamper's Stamp. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Aww. Because it's a secret little den. Aww. Just for us. Aww. And now, all for all of us now. <laughs> Since yeah. I've said nice. it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, just to be clear, Xavier, you know Lori is Kath. Like, Catherine is not a person. It's Lori. Like, are, are you clear on this now? This isn't cleared up. Is this explicitly right? clear for you? He's still holding up, like, the map. Um, <laughs> he'll, like, move it down a bit, and he'll, like, nod. But he's still, like, holding it mostly in front of him. Cool. Uh, it's like, yeah. yeah I, uh, Samix explained that. I think she explained to you with her face. Oh, what? what? She burned you. She burned him. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Where? On your face? Is it, are you okay? Yeah, there's nothing there now. It was here, but it's fine now. Oh, um, it's is all that healed. Also, I, I mean, don't have a black eye anymore. Way. Oh, well, no. Aw. Yes. Wow. You guys had me somehow. Oh. Wait, Simon so, killed you? Said? He said oh. Simex healed him somehow. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. With the power of love. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, and friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and maybe the fairy side thing, too. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. What is that? Wait, bring that's it up. Xavier, and then that's the bright light that is the energy of Simex or whatever. We're bringing it a little closer. I don't think, oh, I think it needs more light. I think yeah. it needs. We'll just take a picture yeah. and fix it to us. Yes, that, that'd be a great idea. Yeah, I should do that. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, I, uh, I healed him. And also, I think he's a steel type. Mm. Whoa, Xavier. Is that okay to tell people? <laughs> I mean, we've been telling secret? people at this point. Yeah, we already we're told Hope. We're so. kind of bad at keeping Oh, system. I mean, like, is, it, is Xavier okay with me spreading his information out? Just oh, excitedly. he's like, oh. sure. Oh. Yep. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not even sure what you really mean, uh, but yep. He had this, you had this like gray, firm energy burst from you. <laughs> oh, no. I, I had mean, my fairy energy. I still don't understand what all that means, but if you, oh I mean, if you're telling people's fine. Well, speaking of powers, then, okay, so we went on the seance. I had a ghost powered thing. Yes. And I was able to like uh, uh, do some. I, I saw a vision, and I was able to like get possessed by a ghost and go oh to find the cemetery. And go to where? And go find the cemetery. That's how you did it. Yeah. So it's like I can see through the glass ball and go through like that you know like distortion world and like see things with ghost powers. Bro. Samex like punches you on the shoulder. <laughs> nice. Xavier, do you understand what you just under discovered about yourself? Yeah, what kind of cool powers do you get for steel? <laughs> so we all have types, basically. Like Pokemon. He's moving the map up more. Like coming more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a question. Is Anne listening? Yes, Anne? absolutely. I think Anne would have jumped. I just didn't want to interrupt ever. Um but and definitely would have jumped in when Reggie started describing more of what happened because he just like didn't lie to her before, but was really coy about everything before, and now just like spilled it all out. I completely forgot Anne was here. Yeah, <laughs> she's right next to you. Um, I'm so short. <laughs> yeah, she's just below your vision, I guess. Um, <laughs> she's like, you can see it, the ghost. You didn't say that. You, you, uh, you didn't say that at all to me, Reggie. Hey, you're still. <laughs> yeah, I am. The, mm. 
mean? What, are you going to tell all these people and you won't tell me anything? Okay, fine. And the truth has come out. We all have types. We have power. Yeah. And you know when you hold, held that glass ball? You're a ground type. You held the glass ball? Yeah, she took it from me. Yeah. yeah. I did, because he kept lying. And I now he was definitely lying to me. I knew it. <laughs> I'm a ground type. That makes that yeah, that tracks. <laughs> like this stuff is like she's gonna like toss dirt out outwardly, you know what I mean? Just like throwing it off of herself. Yeah. Is this is this does this mean I'm ground? This <laughs> dirt? Well yes. <laughs> I mean We don't know what I'm gonna try to explain. Like we don't really know what your power is until it manifests. But I know you probably have a special power. I'm not sure what ground does though, but we'll find out. So wait, she's literally just tossing, like flinging dirt from herself. Yeah. Right? Well, oh, wait, she's you know, always covered in dirt. That's just okay. how she is as a person. Oh. I see. I was like, oh, she just randomly <laughs> made her power known. Okay. No, no, it's not like this is just like her throwing the mud that's always on her onto you guys, more I or see. less. I see. Like, look at this. Look at all this mud I have. Um, <laughs> that counts. <laughs> Everybody in camp has like a type almost. Because like, it's like so far we have Brick and Xavier and then Anne and then us three. And Barrett and is poison. Barrett poison. is poison, we're thinking. Yep. What's going on? And, and Hope know? has some sort of white? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. And Hope has yeah. yeah. Or normal? Ice or normal? Some yeah. kind of, there's something going on, you guys. Yeah, something fishy's going on. <laughs> and it seems like Team Wild has been on it. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. I told you about this, Xavier. <laughs> yeah, Xavier knows all about the Team Wild oh, stuff. Oh, my gosh. Okay, cool. Um, Xavier's all filled in, so he's not really surprised by any of this. Uh, not really. Um, and might be. Anne, Anne would definitely be surprised. She hasn't even heard that anyone's by Team Wild. <laughs> so she would definitely be like, Team Wild? Yeah. What? There's some, uh, it's that bad thing. <laughs> yeah, no, what, what, what do you mean? What are you guys talking about? They're on this? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, apparently they know about this energy, and I don't know how bad they really are. So. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Because I'm a dark type energy user, and and they're teaching me things. <laughs> Whoa, you're t you're teaching you? Uh, well, just once. They they like I met them out in the forest, and um, yeah, that was it. And I can only use it when I'm in mortal peril. Like or this, and she's gonna throw more mud at you. <laughs> dark yeah. type. Basically, <laughs> my just gonna hit you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So you have one on you. Uh, if you, we can skip over anything else you want to tell Anne. If you want to tell anything else, or you can say that that's it. Um, I think we got it covered. Yeah, yeah. that was most of it. Um, How many times should we like repeat information that you've told to us? while we're little, telling other NPCs. As many times as it works, I do know usually like in movies they would skip over that, but I, one, I'm eventually like, these kids have to know. I just, yeah. I don't know. It I, might just keep coming up. And eventually also the, the NPCs might tell other NPCs so then they already know, mm -hmm. or they'll come to you and just like ask for clarification, something like that. Yeah, because I know that has happened a couple of times and I'm fine with it every time it happens. Like it's, it's totally fine. Um, but I just know that, yeah, eventually you don't need to repeat the same info every, every <laughs> session. I kind of appreciate it because it helps me remember. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I like it. So yeah, you guys can tell whoever you want, uh, however much you want. So um, so far, we have like several people in on it at this point. Yeah, I think most of Camp Twenty yeah. has been yeah. in some capacity informed. Yeah. Um, actually, almost all of them, I think. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so you guys tell them all of that, and. I would say before you guys can go over anything else, um, I was just gonna poke us out. It's like there you guys are. Come inside. We 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 have to get ready for the the tournament. I didn't eat. Oh <laughs> no. Oh shoot. And you gave and Reggie gave their whole lunch to Butterfree. So I gave him my lunch from the other day. Uh, oh, the rotten food. Okay. I had like a packed lunch that I never ate. Oh. Those in my health items, I think. I think uh, Semex. 
Xavier would like reach out and he's like, I brought this out and it's the dessert from your plate. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, I also have a pack of nuts I can give to Cymax. You have a pack of nuts? I have a pack of nuts. Just one big nut. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's definitely a pack. So Lee's like looking through and Ezra's like, come on guys, what are you doing? Like, let's go. Uh, you know, I'm sure Cymax can eat it here. Where's the robbery listening to him? Okay. Oh, is he still time to eat? Uh, you guys can eat as I'm explaining, you know? Oh, okay, cool. cool yeah. Cool. Right. Yeah, well, it's then, totally um, fine. Gonna take the, come on guys, take the Pokemon back and um, grab Xavier's hand and go in. Cool. Right. Whoa. 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 Whoa, daddy -o. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> so. That's not a character. Yeah, we didn't say that. <laughs> you didn't say, whoa, daddy -o. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't say that either. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Just a list of things that you didn't know say. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, just continue. Forget about it. Um, so yeah, I think Xavier would like blush from that and like kind of crumple up. He'll definitely accept it for sure and will walk in with you. Um, but he does look back at the other two, you know, that type of thing. Um, He's looking also. Well, like for a second, he like glances, you know, that type of thing. Um, the other three? Yeah, th those three. And I, but I think Anne would take your other hand. So, Whoa. yeah. <laughs> Um, da, 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 da. Read the room, jeez. Uh, no, she won't. Uh, <laughs> actively will not read the room. Um, so she'll do that, and you guys That's will all sit down. Oh. And Ezra will take the head of the table. If you guys want to have anything else to say right before he starts going into things, uh, nope, nope. Father, tell us the meeting. <laughs> Thanks, Cymax. Very nice of you to open us up like that. Um, <laughs> he's sitting at the head of the table. He's our dad. <laughs> oh, I'm not, not a dad. dad now. There's no, not not a dad. Um, you know, use protection, all all that stuff. Um, <laughs> you be talking about yourself, Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> so. He'll, uh, he, he's taking the head, right? All the kids are close to done eating, or Cymex is, um, I guess, eating at this point. Uh, has let go of both of the hands that were holding on to them and is eating. Um, maybe one of them. Okay, so yeah, you let go of one of them and then start eating. And so yeah, Ezra's like, okay, everyone, I, so we're the, the last group of camps to go. We're like in the last groups. So we're going to go to the battle area. I don't know if you've all been there. Wait, uh, it's happening right now. Wait, what? It's happening right now? <laughs> I didn't expect this. Yeah, uh, so this is the first part of the tournament, which is all inter-camp battles. So there's six teams, if you remember correctly. Uh, team one is uh, Cymex, Lee, Reggie. Then team two is Barrett, Hope, Finn. Three, Brick, Salem, Charlotte. Uh, <laughs> You say that way too late. Like he's already part way through team three. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then uh, team four is Willow, uh, Nikki, Devi, and then team five is Anne, Sarah, Clyde, and six is Xavier, Ed, Dylan. So uh, you each are, you're going to battle every other team that's here, and then with whoever has the best record will move on to the tournament that's tomorrow. And the first half of the major tournament is tomorrow, and then on Sunday night that's like when the last uh, top eight is so that's kind of how it goes um it's single elimination after today but for today you're just going to battle everyone we're going to see which team is uh the best battlers not that it reflects on you on as people at all this is just well, a battling competition hmm? i will take it personally if you lose same dylan's gonna join he's like yeah this is a, this is personal <laughs> <laughs> um and so we're gonna head over to those areas and then we're gonna fight random people uh it's gonna be random we're gonna you guys out of character you guys are gonna roll a d6 and whichever team number you get that's like the first one you'll fight um mm -hmm. and then we'll probably go down after that like through the rest um oh. <laughs> I didn't right now okay. that's great 
Oh. <laughs> I heard D6, and I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> I can explain how that will work later, but that is fantastic. That's what we'll use. Sorry. Um, yeah. Especially when you have a bad roll. <laughs> What? That's not a bad roll. That's the team right next to us. Yeah, I know. But no, we're just saying like it's the sound effect is funnier when you have a bad roll. <laughs> oh or yeah. Or it's just like silence. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like natural one <laughs> crit fail. Um yeah, so that that's what we will be using later. But he's gonna explain the uh how the battling works here is it's going to be you three versus another three, but you each only bring in one Pokemon, which you have to decide before you find out what the other team is using. Oh, so you shoot. all are going to bring one Pokemon in. Um, so each battle is 3v3 on the field, like at all times. Um, and once your Pokemon's knocked out, you're out. And then once all three of the Pokemon are out, you lose. And it's best of ones. Um, so it's it's pretty simple in that in that case. In each fight, you have to wager 200 Poke Dollars. Each person wagers 200. Oh, oh, good, because Reggie only had 30 earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I have 250 now. <laughs> you have uh, 280, right? I have 250. Was it 250? He, he only got 200 okay. Poké dollars. That's all See, you, you get. You get 250 math. experience. But, so good yeah, job. You, you each wager 200, but I mean, the, the whole team as a whole needs to wager 600. So if someone doesn't have enough money, someone else ah. has to cover for them. Yeah. Uh, and then figure I'm out scared. that later. <laughs> Be uh, good. So that's kind of the rules. Uh, you'll obviously be able to like talk to their teams like after and like before the battle a little bit, and then the battle happens. There'll be a ref. A, there's a ranger there that will be like the referee and keeping the rules official. So no, no uh, out of line stuff, no hitting each other, um, no right. getting involved personally. Uh, it's all just Pokemon battling. So, um, and then also out of character. This is not what he's explaining, but you guys will get experience for all these battles. Um, I'll explain how that works later. The experience will obviously go to the Pokemon you selected to enter. We're not going to do the 10% rule this time. Um, oh. And the XP isn't awarded until after the tournament. So after all five battles, that's when you get the XP. Oh, damn. Yeah, so no leveling up mid-battle. Like, no leveling up like mid-tournament. Like, what, what you're going in with is what, what you're going to go in with through the whole thing. Um, and then... Each battle is worth a certain amount of XP. Actually, they're all worth 6,000. So it's 30,000 XP total if you win them all. Um, and each Pokemon shit. you take out is worth 2,000. So like if, if you lose, but you take out two of the Pokemon, it's 4,000 experience. But that's not really super important right now. The important part is that uh, you guys are going to be fighting people. So he's going to stand Before up. Before we and... fight, can we yep. pee? Okay, sorry. Um, do we get healed between each battle? Yes, there is a. Uh, it's actually at the area you've been to before, Reggie. If right. you remember, there is a Nurse Joy that will. You guys will after each battle. Um, the Ranger, the referee, will just take the Pokemon, go and heal them. You guys don't even have to leave, and they'll they'll do all the transportation. Um, so you can just like talk to their kids or whatever while you're waiting. Um, cool. And then they'll leave. So yes, your Pokemon will be healed each time. You can switch out. You can switch out Pokemon each battle. So like if you want to use one Pokemon number one the first battle, Pokemon number two the second battle, like you can do that, but you have to decide before you know what the other team is using, what your whole team is using. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, let's have a <laughs> let, let, let's go there. We'll have a bathroom break, um, and then we'll go into the uh, into the battles. So you guys will get up, assuming you follow, and you guys will walk there. Yeah. Are you yes. guys saying anything to any of the other teams? Uh, teams are probably getting, like, Brick and Salem uh, are probably getting psyched up, you know, and Charlotte uh, ready to fight. Um, Debbie and Nikki are excited. Will is probably, like, not paying really attention to them. Uh, Sarah, Clyde, and Anne probably aren't working together the best, but they're all, like, in different ways kind of excited. Um, Xavier, Ed, and Dylan are definitely all excited. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm very nervous. Guys, what Pokemon are you going to use? Uh, I'm probably going to use LP. It's my best right now. All right. My next, what about you? Butterfree fucking rocks now. Thanks. Well, yeah. I think I'm going to use Heidi. I think she's my best now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least I'll start with her and I'll see how it goes. Okay. Nice. Cool. That sounds awesome. Oh, you have new moves, by the way, too. Oh, fuck. Okay. So they've led you to the battlefield. Um, Ezra will explain a little bit uh, more that I guess I forgot to explain. 
Uh, so when you put your Pokemon and your characters out here, you're going to start in those half circles, right? Mm -hmm. Each people are. The Pokemon mm -hmm. are going to start in, like, the Pokeball-looking center, right? They're, they're, they're going to start, like, I'll, I'll arrange the other team's Pokemon, and you'll see, like, you'll just replicate it on the other side. Um, and then each one of those little boxes that you can kind of see in it, you see, like, there's little boxes? Those are each five feet. So normally we use, like, a five foot as, like, a... It's, it's like one of like the boxes that's on the grid. In this, we're not using the grid, the white grid. We're using the grid on the Pokemon battle thing. Okay. So if that makes sense to everyone, um, yeah. you'll have to count mm -hmm. out them like that. And then diagonal is 7.5 feet, we'll, we'll say, if you want to move diagonally. Okay. Um, so two of those are 15 feet. So that's it's like three boxes. Moving three boxes straight is like moving two boxes diagonally, just so you know. Okay. Um, we don't we'll get it when that. we do it. Yeah. What? We'll get it when we do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's an officiator. This uh, ranger is really just looking out if you like, you know, cheat. But if you know how Pokemon works, you know, just use the Pokemon and you're not cheating. Like, <laughs> well, um, you know, just, some, sometimes. Just don't like, you know, pull out a gun. Don't like. <laughs> Yeah, just don't do anything that's uh, right. that's something you can't do, I guess. It's, it's pretty simple. It's just like the rules of Pokemon battling. Um, no hitting each other. Um, yeah. Just really Normal taking stuff. away all of Simex's power here. A lot of these are really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sorry. We, uh, you can, if you remember that dark energy that you can shoot out, Yeah. you can try that in any of these battles. If you do shoot it out, you know, something will happen in narrative. Um, but you can try it whenever you want still. Okay. Um, but yes, you know, like things will, How I'm just saying that that power is still just like it was always, always available to you. I'll keep it in mind. Um, so yeah. Is uh, the fairy thing only like once? Like after a battle, to heal you can do it during, okay. but you have to be next to them. Yeah, you have to like lay hands on them, like more or less what it's called. Lay on hands. Yeah. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay. Well, no, but eventually maybe that that's Got what it. it would be. That's like the Got D and D spell that, that would would be equivalent to. Okay. Um, but it's not right now. It's not that yet. Um, so. So yes, um, Thank you. if you guys want to like put your characters out here, you're, you're technically, they, they've explained all this, right? And they're going to send uh, each group and they're going to say, well, it looks like the first round is team one versus team two, uh, as you guys rolled a two earlier, team three versus four, and then five versus six. So all the kids are going to split off and uh, you guys will have a little bit of time to interact with team two. Um, who are these three? Ooh, uh, Ezra, no. oh. Ezra and Autumn are gonna be uh, leaving to go through, like, help the other kids. You know, maybe not. Since there is another official, they don't have to really be there, so they're not being there. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. Ben and who? Barrett. That's right. Okay. Well, Ben and Barrett. Okay, nice. so let's talk about this, guys. Strat let's strategize. Vin is a fire type, mm -hmm. so she'll probably have a fire type Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Barrett has a Nidoran. So poison and normal. Poison, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then Will oh, Hope has Jiri Jiri Pop, Pop, so which is Fairy? Fairy, yeah, Fairy. Fairy. For sure. So wait, is Dark strong against Fairy or the other way around? Dark is not good against Fairy. I don't think it's the other way around. I think okay. Dragon is bad against mm -hmm. Fairy. Yes. Steel is good against Fairy. Uh -huh. What else is good against Fairy? Or we can just do like a neutral type thing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So in other words, I should not, I shouldn't, for this first round, because I'm using Houndor, I shouldn't battle Hope. Well, we're all going to battle each other. No matter what. So oh, well, I know, but it's like. But yeah, focus on. Focus that. on, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, Stymex. So I think I could probably take any of Vin's. Or Barrett's pretty reasonably. So. I could use Meryl. Yeah, that would be good. Because mm -hmm. Meryl's Fairy also. Yeah, true. And I don't know if that would be useful in this case, but. I think it would. Yeah. yeah. 
And then um, and then you got Butterfree, so that's flying and bug type. Butterfree has the most HP also. So I mean, yeah. like Butterfree has like a tank. Yeah, Butterfree is <laughs> I was just going to throw out Butterfree anyway, no matter what. <laughs> what kind of moves does Butterfree have? Or um, Pokemon other than Halidor because um, I worry about Hope hitting me with a fairy type attack. Is it bad against fairy? Oh, it's dark, right? No, dark doesn't resist. I mean, it's not bad against fairy. Oh, it's not. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to keep Heidi in then. Wait, fairy is super effective against dark? Yeah. Is it? No. Yeah. Oh my God. I know nothing about fairy. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to okay, I'm yeah. about anything, so I'm gonna use Princess Sparkles instead. Okay. 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 Cool. So that's what you guys have like locked in. It sounds like you would go to the official and like lock in <gasps> the Pokemon you're using. Wait, um, I need a new Do you have a Butterfree token? <laughs> um I can like upload one real quick. Um, so while you guys are talking, after you guys are like kind of done talking, Hope's actually going to walk over. And uh, it's like, oh, I really don't want to have to do this this battling thing. Um, but I think you guys were right about Barrett. <gasps> yeah? What? Yeah, what he has you? that. He has like what? some weird uh, energy type thing, you know? What's he doing? What did he do? Yeah. I mean, he was, and then Barrett's gonna like yell, like, "What are you doing? Come over here!" You know, we gotta strategize. I was like, "Oh," and it's gonna run over. She's like, "I, I don't want to fight," as she she leaves. Good luck. It's okay. We'll talk about it later. Okay, so we focus on her because she's the weakest. <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn, Reggie. <laughs> so let's see. How do I add a? Oh, I just need to throw it out there, right? Here is your, Podrick. <laughs> Thank you. <Aww. laughs> uh, I release Butterfree and immediately just start crying. <laughs> okay. Simon, keep it together. <laughs> we're battling. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. <laughs> I can't believe we're saying that like a little floating butterfly is our tank Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but it's true. Yeah. She's in a tank. I mean, she's Butter's a boy, right? Do I need to yeah, make you a, girl. a character? I'm a girl. Um, yeah, I can't do it. Or do you want me to update? Do you want to update Metapod's character to be Podrick the Butterfree, or do you want a new character? Um, no, I can update. Yeah, try try doing that, and then try just changing the picture to. Oh, can you change the avatar? Or do I have to do? Uh, let me look. I'm not sure. <laughs> Battle music. <laughs> oh, I can upload it, yeah. Thank you. Sorry for making everything about Butterfree. I'm just very excited. Let's see here. Here we go. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, look at this little baby face. This is it. Not that oh, one. That's I don't know. It. What... <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, he's the imposter. Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so fucking excited. That's Simex. Um, which are oh, using Point Hunt, right? Yes, I'm using Princess oh. Sparkles, actually. Yeah. Come put your Pokemon in the middle. Oh, oh yeah. So the other ones, uh, the official guy is going to be like, come shake hands, you know, that type of deal. Okay. Um, got a good team here. Yeah. And you guys are gonna. Oh, you guys actually moved yourselves up. Okay, I guess I'll move them up. Shake hands, you know. Um, good game, good game. Oh. GG. I think. Me and Barrett. Shake hands. Uh, yeah, Barrett's gonna do like that thing where people like try to like not touch on me like those assholes. Like, oh. like the end, good game. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> um, Vin will be excited and shaking your guys' hands, super pumped to battle, and Hope is just like dreading it. Oh. <laughs> 
cool. um, and the official doesn't pay any attention. This guy like does not care at all <laughs> about what's happening. Um, so he's not paying attention to this, or really seems like he's going to be paying attention to the battle. Just so you know. Okay. Oh. Um, okay. But I mean, if something blatant happens, like fighting, <laughs> he'll notice. But I just mean that he's not like. Super, he might like things he might miss things. All right, so put them, put your Pokemon surrounding this circle. Why is that? Oh, shoot, the Quilava. Oh, boy, yeah. So it's uh, Vince Quilava, she also had an evolution, Barrett's uh, Nidal Ran from that first state, and then uh, Hope's Cleffa, which is actually also the first Pokemon she had. Wait, oh, it's so cute. Mm. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you're gonna punch a baby? Yes. <laughs> <Is it> to <laughs> win. <laughs> Jesus, Reggie. What is that ghost? <laughs> I need to um, redeem myself from this failure. So here. Okay. Turn, turn order. Turn. Well, PDS turn. Also down. There we go. A turn immune to none, interesting. Okay, wait, is immune to nothing, huh? No, that was Nidoran is immune to nothing. What? Oh, wait, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's accurate. Mm -hmm. I can't find Kalava's. There we cool. go. So, everyone roll initiative. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Roll oh, d20. Fuck. I want 3d20. 3d20. Oh, wait, so that's minus one, so it's three. Why is it minus one? Because I have minus one initiative. Oh, okay. I forgot. I got your minus one. Oh my god, you guys! Our first real official battle. Well, not Reggie's. Well, yeah, well me and Lee's first official real battle. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay. And then, let's see here. Sonic's got a 19. Yeah. Sonic's is super rearing to go. <laughs> He's kind of ready to go. And Reggie is... Haunted you know. by my failures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, you guys, this um, is so exciting. Sorry. So here's the order. So... <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. So, so yeah. Please treat your you, fight spirit. You are not within five feet of anyone, just so you know. So, like, there's no attacks of opportunities if, like, you're moving right away. Um, mm -hmm. And it's Cymex's turn. So the official, right, is going to uh, kind of, like, walk to the center. And he says, Battle! And <laughs> the music starts, you know? And the other three slide into frame, right? And like all their action he poses. And they throw out their Pokemon. And now it's a fight. There's an official battle happening. Oh, man. I'm going to go side beam to uh, Nidoran. Great. So I roll. Oh, well, you okay. might just take this thing out. Yes. <laughs> Wait, this is a DC 14 attack 7. So I roll a D20. Yeah. Do I roll plus the attack? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, And DC. Yeah. And then... <laughs> Woo! Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, you absolutely hit if you want to roll me damage. Um, boy, do I. <laughs> Uh, plus three. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I read that off. Uh, D10 plus three. D10 plus three. Ooh, hell yeah. Um, and then that is times two. Oh my god. What a god. Wait one second. Uh, no, it's, it's, I mean, it's way more than that. Um, because... Oh, oh, why? Well, first of all, it's actually 2D8 plus three. If you use side beam, right? Two D yeah, wait, why is it? It says uh, 1d10. Oh, okay. I should explain this. I explained this to Lee and uh, Reggie, but I did not explain it. Okay, so yes. So um, that is what it says. But if you look in the damage slash effect, it says 2d8 because that is the base power is 1d10. But every, I think at level like 5, 10, 15, and 20, your move power goes up. So its moves are stronger. So, when a move power goes up, it goes from, instead of a 1d10, it's now a 2d8. And you can see that when it says damage slash effect, which is right next to your attack bonus. 
It's right next to there. If you see the attack bonus, and then literally the, the thing next to it says 2d8 plus move. There you go. So that's great. So you'll roll that, and then you'll add the move. Um, Not max damage. Great. Yes. Well, oh, shit. Sorry. What was that even for? Yeah. Cool. What was that? Sorry, I have Less a big farm in the oven. I'll be back. Uh, Less of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that really triggered all of us. That's, <laughs> that's messed up. Can't have in your whatever. Anyways, so that's how damage works. You'll notice that your other moves also do more damage, be just the same way as that one does, uh, because that's how damage works. It's so that Pokemon feel stronger, and they don't always just do one d six of damage when the opponent has two hundred health. That would be <laughs> really annoying. So it does more. So you Thank rolled you. that, uh, but if you remember how crits work, which is what a 20 is, you're going to add the full damage, which is another 16, so that's 29, and then you double it, which would be 58. Um, so, Holy shit. Yeah, Butterfree, the first move you've ever used with Butterfree, uh, like, flaps its wings, and it focuses really hard upon um, Nidoran, letting out a, a, a blast of energy, like just a massive blast, um, and it's going to hit and just immediately KO Nidoran, like 100%. Um, it is actually... Our... Wait, what? Is this our first one-hit KO of this entire game? There's been some other ones, but I don't know if you were in the sessions that, cool. that happened. Yeah. Um, and you were one damage short. Uh, no, actually, just kidding. If this was regular D&D, you would have killed this. Like, insta-killed. Like, when you do double... Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. You killed this thing, more or less, but it didn't actually die. Um, mm -hmm. the, the blast is so strong that even Barrett behind it seems like he takes, like, some of the damage. Like, it's like, the psychic energy is like, it hits him as well. Oh my god. Um, so it's a very strong blast, and the other two people seem unaffected by the blast, right? Like, it doesn't seem like it's supposed to affect other people, but it hits Barrett. Um, so, you've hurt Barrett, and you've knocked out his Pokemon in one go. Uh... I'm going to whisper, I guess our truce is over. <laughs> yeah, you definitely see that his uh, his eyes are not happy with Cymex as he looks up. Um, oh, he's oh, definitely God. angry that his Pokemon is one, has been one-hit KO'd, and he, he's unhappy that he's been hurt uh, <laughs> from, like, from stuff like the big blast of psychic energy. But after that, uh, does the Butterfree move at all? Um, no. No. Um... But Patrick is gonna like look back, and I'm gonna give him a give her a thumbs up. Great. So the morale boost from that is uh, fantastic. I'm <laughs> definitely happy that that happened. And we will now move to Lee's turn. Go Lee. Sorry. Princess <laughs> um, Sparkles. Mmm. Tell her to follow, girl. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get Princess Sparkles to use um I guess Ember. Great. Ember lava. Okay. When you roll. There's a lot plus eight for this one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> does a 12 hit? So Princess Sparkle shoots out a number and Kulava uh, dodges it by standing up, its flames rearing, um, and it has dodged the ember. Uh, are you moving or anything, or is it Vin's turn? Well, I'm done. Okay, cool. So it's Vin's turn now, and Vin, uh, Kulava's gonna hop up next to. Uh, which would have been like 15 feet of movement to get up next to Ponyta. Let's see how close you are. Let's see here. Yeah, cool. And it's going to use Flame Wheel. So Flame Wheel, uh, let's see here. You're going to need to make me a dex save. So everyone, all their Pokemon around there need to make a dex save. Oh, damn. Um, right. Against a DC of... 
Okay, this for Princess Sparkles. Hopefully, twenty six saves her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. These are very good saves. Um. So Meryl needs to make a save as well. Yeah. Uh. Plus two. Okay. Okay. He's rolling his meter, but. 16. Yes, I get you. Um. Sixteen. So you all make the save, uh, but that doesn't. So how it works on this move mm -hmm. is I'm gonna roll this. So it shoots out flames all around it, right? And a, a ten foot wheel around it spreads flames, hitting against all the Pokemon surrounding it. Um, and because you all uh, succeeded, you're gonna take half as much damage. Oh. So you'll take four before resistances or weaknesses. So Butterfree will actually take eight oh. due to being weak. And then Ponytail is going to take two because it takes half and it's resistant. And Meryl will do the same, I believe. It's two, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, 65 health. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so um, after you guys take all that damage, Barrett, uh, it's his turn. He's going to be angry. And, like upset he's he's definitely like hurt he's gonna, yeah. gonna stand up after being hurt from that psychic blast um and is giving you guys a glare uh but that's just gonna be his turn because he's out of pokemon can i ask uh, like an out of character yeah. question is fairy or psychic like strong against poison psychic Psy is yeah. psychic is yeah Okay, cool. Fairy's weak to it, actually. Um, ah, wait, the psychic is strong against it. What? Fairy's weak to poison? Yeah. Okay, cool. And now it's Reggie's turn. Go, Reggie! Go, um, Reggie. Attack. So I'll do Water Gun on Koala. Great, give me a roll. So. Oh, yes. So Meryl, you know fills up its cheeks with water and sprays it out and uh, it shoots through the flame wheel that it's just unleashed and it hits it. Um, nice. Yeah, you've hit. Roll me some damage. Sweet. <laughs> nope. Not how oh, it's not sorry. your damage, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. I mean, that'd be great. For That'd be really good, but that's not what it is. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Um, oh, hi, too low. <laughs> so you spray out water. Um, it slams into Quillava, and it's going to do eight damage. All right, all right. Um, because it doubles against fire types. <clears throat> and it's Hope's turn, Go home. and Hope, Hope is going to Let's see here. Sorry. <laughs> She's going to have uh, her Cleffa kind of like wiggle up to Butterfree and use the move uh, Sweet Kiss on Aww. Butterfree. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to put a big smooch onto um, Butterfree, and Butterfree needs to make me an intelligence save. Oh, god damn it. Against, it's minus uh, two. Oh, no. No, that's not. No, your intelligence okay. is actually plus one. Your, okay, your, your yeah. save is plus one. Save. Thank god. Um, oh. Against an eight. Yeah. Right. Woo! That's so weird. No, I think that's wrong. I think it's against a tab. Either way. Well, oh, either way. Yes, I didn't even look. Um, so Butterfree just ignores the kiss. Um, Butterfree, and... Butterfree gives a little hug. <laughs> oh. Okay. Christian hug. <laughs> like, oh, thanks. Doesn't understand that it was trying to attack. <laughs> We're just friends. <laughs> Butterfree ain't no hoe. <laughs> Hope likes that uh, for sure that the Pokemon are being nice to each other and that's probably not going to persist because now it is Butterfree's turn. Oh damn. <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> um, Butterfree is actually going to like yell at uh, Koala. Yell? Psybeam, sorry. Very I thought that nice. was the same thing. Um, I mean, kind of. <laughs> so it's this. An 18 hit. An 18, yes. So the the psychic energy bursts out towards it, and it hits. Uh, great. So the psychic energy slams yeah. into it, doing eight damage. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I'd also ask, what what is the DC part of that move? Um, the DC saving uh, yeah. is, is fourteen. You know, no, but what? When does it activate? Does it activate every time, or does it only activate when um, it rolls a certain? The target number? must make a wisdom saving throw against your move DC, taking ten psychic damage and becoming cu- uh, confused on a fail. Half as much without becoming confused on a save. Oh, is that all it says? Yeah. Oh, maybe this move is. Maybe this move doesn't have an attack part. Maybe it really is just DC. I guess I thought it was like a hit, and then something happens. So we're still gonna say it hits. Well, yeah, it, it does. It if you. So if you do the save, then you become confused and you get the damage. But if you don't, if you like make the save, then you just get half as much damage. So you get damage either way. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm a little, I'm going to look up how these moves work because I'm a little confused. But what, what kind of save is it? Wisdom? Wait, hold on. I'll post it again. Well, it's wisdom. I can do that. So it's like it takes damage regardless, but I guess it does double damage when it fails. No. Yeah. No. 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 It takes half when it succeeds. Yeah. And so it fails, it, so it becomes confused. Yeah. Yes. I might have to actually look that up during this because That's fine. I feel like you're gonna be using that move a lot, and <laughs> uh, I need to know how those work. So, um, but we're just gonna continue for right now. So yes, Kulava is confused. Um, what does that mean? Taking eight damage, confused. Oh, I need to roll a d4. One second. So it's confused for three turns, and that means that any time it tries to attack, it has to roll a d20. And if it gets a nine or below, it hits itself. And if it doesn't, wow. then it can actually like go through an attack. So it has about a fifty percent chance of not attacking. Oh, and I think it's God. movement's half or something like that. But um, yeah, so it's Lee's turn. All right, much of the same. I'm going to get Princess Sparkles to use, um... okay, this time I'm gonna get, okay, yeah, I see. To use Ember on um, the lava again. Great. All right, so. Does that hit? So it shoots out of the river right in front of it, and uh, Quilava, with its like flame wheel, is able to dodge it. Uh, uh, I was scared, just barely okay. dodge it. So uh, now it's Vin's turn. Let's see. Sorry, I, I want to look up how that hit and DC thing works, because her move also uses that. So I want to know if I'm doing it right. So one second. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Gives me more time to look up things too. <laughs> I feel like I need to make flashcards of this shit. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Test myself on it. I don't know how y'all the years of experience. Yeah, seriously, this is like, t- this is a huge part of my brain now. <laughs> That's why I can't do math, because Pokemon is it out. Kind of count. I don't know what your excuse is, but that's mine. What my excuse is? Yeah, what's taking up your brain instead of I never math? fucking played Pokemon. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just saying, like, Pokemon is what pushed all the math out of my head. Um... Like, Wait, when Kalaba I uses it. flame wheel okay. again. Flames burst <laughs> out from it. You all need to make uh, dex saves against the same thing it was last time, which I'm pretty sure was a 12. So yeah, mm-hmm. so moves that uh, require saves automatically hit, and then the, the opponents need to try to like dodge them type of thing. Oh. Um, 
So, so it still does the damage thing, right? Oh. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna do damage no matter what, and you guys might be able to avoid half of the damage. Damn. Great. So is that seventeen your save? Yes. It's plus nine, holy crap. Yeah, I put all of the ability points on decks. Damn. Um, great, yeah. I mean, I guess if it's plus nine for dex saves. Uh, so yeah, you pass, and the other two are going to fail, so you guys are going to take 2d8 plus four damage, I believe. That's what it is. Okay. So, but then so, I have it. We both have it. Yeah. Oh, no, Meryl gets like double or something, right? No, oh. Meryl gets half, actually. So 17... Oh. Oh spreads out, but that actually gets half oh for God. both of you. So uh, Meryl drops down to eight, and so does uh, Ponyta, and then Butterfree drops down to eight, but then jumps back up to 16 because it doubles. Is it, I guess they would just cancel. I guess it would be 17. I don't think it would work like that, but yeah, so okay. then Butterfree takes 17 from Flame Wheel. Not 17, sorry. Yes, yeah, no, just 17. Um, Coming from Flame Wheel. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, and that is up. its turn. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, Barrett. Uh, um. And at, so on Barrett's turn, um, <clears throat> let me think here. Here. Uh,. Roll me for Butterfree. Roll me a, a DC of Constitution. Podrick, roll a DC con. Con save. A con save. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right, and then everyone roll me a perception. Uh, okay. What the fuck is this shit little doing? Oh, shit. God damn it. Our truth really is over. <laughs> I did this. Let's see. Hmm. I should roll that too. Yep, everyone. I am. Yeah. That'd be I great. Am. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. Better than usual. Okay, great. So, um, Manin and Simex, you guys are just focused on the battle. You guys, like, don't see anything weird. Um, and Lee, you're going to see some, like, motion. Barrett, like, doing, like, a little bit of motion. You don't really know what it is. Oh, um, no. It doesn't seem like just normal, like, standing or angry stuff. Um, so there's something going on. And Podrick is poisoned. <gasps> Fuck you. Fuck you. Um, so no one knows, you know, how that happened, but like some like bub poisony bubbles, you know, are on Podrick and it becomes poisoned. Um I don't have shed skin anymore. This is bullshit. God damn uh, it. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then it's off Barrett's turn and on to Reggie's. Wait, do I have to roll or is it that at the end of my turn? Uh, I think it's on your turn sometime. Okay. Let me look. But okay. Reggie, you can go as that as I'm looking. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna use water sport. Ooh. So that means for the duration you and any ally in range have resistance to fire type attacks. If you're already resistant, you are now immune. And if you're vulnerable, you now take normal damage. Hmm. Okay. Sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, it just happens. Yes. Oh, great. So I'm assuming that's on Butterfree? Yeah, and well... Is oh, it's all allies? Yeah, any ally and oh. wait. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, so you spray out a bunch of water uh, all over everything, uh, oh. dampening the fire and making it seem like it's going to be a lot less effective. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I should have used that already, but... Well, the next time. Okay. Great. Yeah, so that's a great move. Absolutely. And then it's going to be Hope's turn. 
Um, and Hope will do, do, do. probably just try another sweet kiss, I think, on uh, not on Butterfree. It's going to scoot around okay. kind of right here, and it's going to try to do it to, uh, to Princess Sparkles. Oh. So make a DC 12 save or be confused. Uh, I get her wisdom. But like for her wisdom? I think it's int. Yeah, int. Yeah, it's intelligence. Oh, intelligence. Oh, it's even worse. My as well. <laughs> so, so uh, Pointa becomes confused. No. <gasps> So remember that. And it's Cymex's turn. And when you're poisoned, Cymex, so what happens is um, every attack you make has disadvantage mm -hmm. and all ability checks. And any, like your move uh, that you were using before, because it automatically hits, they get advantage to try to make the save. Okay. Um, and then at the end of your turn, you're gonna, you take, it takes damage equal to its proficiency bonus. So at this point, that'd be three. Mm -hmm. um, and you can always heal uh, but that uses your action or you can just continue going yep um, and it's so your it's turn d20 plus 7 to Kalava yeah d20 if plus you remember, 7. oh wait what move are you using the psychic beam, the side beam. So, uh, that, how that works, since I just looked it up, is that it automatically hits. I have to try to make a save against it. Oh. Uh, yeah. So what's the what's the DC on it? It's uh. Fourteen. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Roll. Two d twenty plus seven. 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 And it's a wisdom. Yeah. Plus one. Well, Dex int whiz. It's Dex it makes int a thir whiz. It doesn't make it because it gets 13, so it's going to take okay. the full amount of damage. Nice. Okay, which is 2d8 plus 3. Does that have disadvantage? No. No. That, nope. Fuck. Uh, so yeah, you rolled the lowest uh, you could, and it only does 5 damage. Uh, now that it's like poison, I guess it's having like, a little harder time hitting uh, isn't feeling well. Oh. And then it's Lee. Wait, oh, you take I'm... three damage. Okay, cool. Okay. You're confused. And I Catherine does, not Lee. Lee. Right. Yes. <sighs> okay. You um... came out too strong. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like my battle of the world. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so should I go? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get Princess Sparkles to try and use Ember again, but Great. this time on the um, Cleffa. Uh huh. So how do I do that with the confusion? Oh. Uh, so you're gonna roll, and if you're gonna roll just a d20. Uh -huh. <coughs> Sorry, Bless you. Um, and then if you get a ten or higher, you can attack, and then you roll an attack. And if you get a nine or below, you take your proficiency damage. So you would take three damage. Okay, so I don't add my attack bonus? Nope, it's just d d20. Yes! Wait, nice. so that means you can attack. So now you make an attack. So now that I do an actual attack roll? Yep. Okay. So now I do my advantage. Ooh. Nice. Great. So yeah, you shoot out some flames and it hits uh, the Cleffa right in the face as it was trying to kiss uh, the Ponyta. And how much damage does it take? Uh, never kiss me again. 15. <laughs> 15 damage, so you knock it into the yellow in one hit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Cleffa's like, like rubbing its face that's just been oh. hit by the fire oh. and is like looking around and hopes really sad in the background that her, her Cleffa's been hit. Um, she didn't ask for this, and now it's Quilava's turn. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Um, Where were they? <laughs> Quilava, uh, hope I'm mean, sorry. Vin is going to realize that fire moves are probably not the best thing right now with that water sport happening. Um, oh, but she pretty much only has those. So instead, she's going to use flame wheel again. Um, and I have a 
question. Real quick. Does flame wheel count as a melee attack, or is that just like fist punching, whatever? It is, is not a melee attack. It is everything within ten feet of it. Okay. Um, so it is not melee, no. But it's actually I just realized it has a quick attack, so it has a bonus action that's going to use. So that will be a melee attack. Um, I have something against that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, so it, it's going to shoot out the flames and I actually, because it's also confused, I need to roll to see if it even can do it. Yes. Which it can't, so it tries to shoot out its flames and instead of, like it sputters and its flames like kind of just spurt out a little bit and hurts itself. So it's going to take... No. I, mean, I think yes. it only has two damage. So no. it's going to knock itself into the yellow <laughs> and then it's going to try to quick attack oh. into Butterfree. And it, it's able to um, reaction, um, stun spore <gasps> is this. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so the attack still goes through. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that first. What is it? So the attack, it tries to hit it with a nine. It does not hit. Um, the quick attack misses. It's still confused and sputtering. Uh, and because of that miss, you're able to release a bunch of spores that is going to try to make it make a con save. And it fails. So now it's confused for one more turn and it's paralyzed. Um, See, so yeah, it's really not having a good round and that's its turn. So. <laughs> Poor thing. It tries to. Attacks so hard. have advantage against it. Um. And it's Barrett's turn. Barrett's a little happy with what he did, with what happened last turn. Um, even though it looks like he's losing, it's weird that he's kind of happy, but that's all. And then Reggie, it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna do a uh, 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 water gun on lava. So you have advantage. So roll me two d twenties, and then add your amount to the higher one. Perfect. Wait, why do I have advantage on it again? You, you it's paralyzed. It's paralyzed. So you have advantage. Oh. That's what just happened. Yep. Sweet. You hit. 19 plus 5, so 24. Yeah, that's a hit. <gasps> Shit, dude. That's a D20. Oh, D20. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> so you spray out water, uh, hitting it in the face now that it's uh, it's real paralyzed and easy to hit, and you knock it down into the red. So 14 um, damage. 14 damage, yep. 14 damage. Um, and then Hope's Cleffa is going to go, and Hope's just going to, like, throw a potion at it. She doesn't even want to attack. Um, she's, yeah. She probably has uh, what Cymex is constantly coming out of her eyes. Their, their eyes are probably also coming out of... Good. Um, Thanks. Out of Hope's eyes, so she's crying a little bit. And it's out of the, out of the yellow and into the green, but still not that strong. And it's Cymex's turn. Um, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna gust, right? Yeah. You're gonna gust? Right? Wind? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. You have disadvantage because you're poisoned, so you'll need to make two attack rolls. Okay. Still plus seven. D20. And you'll take the lower one as disadvantage works. That's not. Nine. Wait, oh, wait, you know, are you doing. What are you doing? Oh, why did I roll a d12? I'm sorry. I yeah. Didn't mean to. Uh, 16 Great. plus 7. Does so you're using action? gust on what? On Quilava. Yeah, so you switched it up and now you're using gust and you absolutely hit the Quilava. Oh, I guess you don't have disadvantage because you have advantage attacks on it. So I guess it's like nut. Either way, you hit. So you hit. <laughs> um, and. How much? And roll me damage. Yeah, that one is the D12. Plus no, get up. Get up. Yeah, so uh, you flap your wings, right? And you send out a big gust that spirals into it, slams into the Quilava as it's paralyzed and flips it over, knocking it over. And it's X, X is in its eyes. Oh. It's out. <laughs> um, and that leaves just Cleffa sitting there. Uh, it's like sad and rubbing its face. It's right in front of Princess Sparkles. What's happening? Oh I imagine like people looking up for these three Pokemon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I feel so bad. 
<laughs> but we're, I'm still getting back. We're celebrating as Hope is sobbing on her side. <laughs> Hope, just give up. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm assuming Princess Sparkles is still confused, right? Yeah. So I got to do the the thingy? Yeah. Yeah, did you roll a d4? How long, how many turns was it? did it last? Roll me a d4 right now. I did not roll a d4. Roll so. me one and we'll see how many. Roll me a d4. Okay. So you would have two more turns of it. So yeah, you need to. Roll my d20. Dang it, Ooh. I'm confused. So Princess Sparkles uh, is like, yeah, out of it. And also that there's a Cleffa that's uh, it's crying in front of it. And it hits itself with like a, like with its hoof. And takes probably like whatever its proficiency is in damage so i think that's three three whatever its proficiency yeah. is plus three no just no, no. which is three i oh, believe okay. sorry okay and then vin is definitely upset on her turn oh, <laughs> she's out of there barrett uh is feigning some upsetness now as well and uh now it's reggie's turn okay i'm gonna use water again on Cleffa. um so, Gently, please. No. A 21. Yeah. You spray out water right into its face. How much damage? Let's see. How are we doing? 12. Plus 3. 14. 14. <laughs> okay. See, uh, so as Hope is like wanting to quit and like about to run out, as it's about to be like her thing, she's oh, running out wanting to quit. How do you want to knock out Cleffa? <laughs> I just want to water on it so it falls over. Yeah, just like <laughs> So that, not impressive at all. It just like you spray it in the face, it slips on like the water and kind of like lands <laughs> and just faints itself. Like it just <laughs> um and hope is really sad and runs out immediately. Um, you got me, Jenna! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Butterfree like flies down and is like, what's wrong? <laughs> Oh. Um, and Barrett's coming out to kind of like console Hope as well, and so is Finn. Um, In your face! Oh, Hope, it's okay. Good game, good game. <laughs> but also, I want to pet Princess Sparkles, too. Okay, so uh, let's see what's happening. So you're petting Princess Sparkles, and you said Hope, it's okay. Hope doesn't really pay attention. She's sad. Barrett definitely gives Reggie a glare for saying in your face. Um, <laughs> as like Hope is like kind of crying, and the official comes out. Um, is walking out. Are you guys doing anything else, or is, is the official gonna wrap this up? Uh, no, I'm just trying to shake hands with everybody. Vin will definitely shake hands. She's like, good game. This was great. Um, Simex, you're bending over, trying to help Hope, it sounds like. Um, and she's gonna say, just a Pokemon Center, and the ranger is gonna, like, take all the Pokeballs, all the hurt ones, um, and run them off. And also, he's gonna say, you know, trade the the money you guys have to, so you each get two hundred dollars from one of them. Nice. Um, nice. And your record on like, let's say there's like a board. I guess there's probably like a big, a big scoreboard. Um, and you see that, yeah, yours ticks up to one win. Theirs ticks down to one loss. Um, and you can't see the rest of the teams because I don't want to have to keep track of like where each round is gonna be because that's a lot <laughs> of like who's fighting who and who's winning yeah so oh my god yeah um so that's all you see is that you guys take up to a win and we'll say like winners stay so it tells um team two to you know get on up out of there and go no. uh go to go to the next area so you guys are able to stay um if you guys have anything to say to them um the the team that was fun or, guys <laughs> Good battle. Yep. Yeah, Vince yelling yeah too. Uh, and let's see here. Barrett's probably doesn't know what to do next to like a crying hope. Who's <laughs> like, oh, yeah, crying? She definitely still has like tears in her eyes though, but she's probably over the crying part. Oh, Reggie is um, continually haunted by his defeat, so he's very excited. <laughs> about this yeah, I want to comfort hope. Be like, it's okay. Cluck will be okay. There's sure we can heal her. Him, okay, it's a her. Thanks for yeah. <laughs> making sure, yeah. Um, uh, so the guy will come back and handle the Pokemon. So, uh, all of our PP are reset and yes. all of our health. Nice. Yep, everything is back up to full. And Hell hope, yeah. and Sorry. they're all gonna leave. Uh, Ezra's gonna say, Looks like 
Uh, oop. Ezra's going to come by and say, oh, you guys are done. Fantastic. It looks like uh, the other team's just finished up too. So it looks like Team 3 will be coming to fight Team 1, and then Team 2 versus 5 and 6 v 4. So you guys will be fighting Team 3 next, and they'll be walking in. As Vin will be like, good battle, guys, as they're walking away. Um, good battle. Barrett's stewing as normal um, <laughs> next to a very, a very hurt Hope. Um, cool. And they're out of there. They're going to their next battle. Uh, and then down. I'm sure they are. Down walks Salem. Uh, Salem goes there, and Brick is carrying a sleeping Charlotte. Aww. Uh, like always. <laughs> so. Um, let's talk yep. strategize, team. Uh, Salem has like a totodile and like that, but he also has a sand <laughs> <laughs> Um. Uh, hi. Uh, um. So. Okay, he has a stand. Yes, right, he does have a stand out. So it's ground and dark, right? Yeah. Okay. So he's ground dark and water here. And I'm sure Totodile has like a bite move as well. I yeah. feel sure. So that's dark type. And Brick I mean, is. On Lee. Okay. It should so, be dangerous. Yeah, that's a really good one. So that's pure fighting type. And what does Charlotte have? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Charlotte has. Charlotte has at least what she has is um fucking is that the only Do one? you know uh, what she Magnemite. has? Magnemite. Magnemite. Oh, ah, there you go. So electric. And steel. And steel. Yeah. Sure. It's electric. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay. So, tough call for me because I'm on fire type. <laughs> oh, oh, this is what people mean when they're like, "Oh, I, do you want to go for one type or like diversify your portfolio or whatever the fuck?" Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like okay. even though I have multiple types, there's still they still be weak against water. Uh -huh. So let's say you pick your Pokemon with the most, the highest HP and the best AC. I'm doing. Then I'm gonna do Heidi for this one. Okay. And what's Cymex using? Oh, okay. again? Um, I would say probably not Butterfree for this because the electric type. So maybe. Um, what's what so is? Much, what are you using for this battle? Butterfree. Butterfree's out there. Okay. Oh, you're using Butterfree. I think Butterfree is good though because that's so yeah, much Yeah, it's so strong. But what about Drifloon? What is Drifloon? Drifloon. I don't. Know. Drifloon's pretty good too. But it's also a flying type, so oh, yeah. it's like just as weak as Butterfree, and Butterfree's a lot better. So yeah. Yeah, I would just use Butterfree. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're happy with Butterfree. Do what you want. Okay. I mean, we get to choose. Anyway. Butterfree anyway. <laughs> Put our boys out. Cool. So it sounds like uh, Samex was already going to use Butterfree, whether or not the team yeah. is good. Um, I'm going to move your Pokemon a little bit as well, just to, yeah, put them more. Yeah. They're all, they're all kind of like hull around like this little circle. Um, I don't want so, my tangent. Team cheer. Yeah, everyone put so, their paw. <laughs> uh, the other team. Wait, sorry, what? Oh, our Pokemon are doing a team cheer. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Before you guys throw them out, though, the other teams are like, walk up. You guys are going to shake hands, I would say. Uh, Is Charlotte don't, awake now? What? Is Charlotte awake now? No. <laughs> I would say Bar Brick is probably like shaking hands and then also like weekend at burning her hand, <laughs> you know? Um, and then Salem's also shaking hands. Nice. Um, we're just like ready to lose, guys. Well, if you are, ah, punch, friendly punch on the shoulder. Oh, he's gonna take that. He's like, okay, and he's gonna hit you back, and it's gonna hurt for sure. But like, nice. It's still like a friendly hit, but with a friendly hit from him's you know, buff, yeah. big one. Yeah. Um, so then he's gonna march Charlotte back, uh, and Salem is also, and they're gonna throw out their Pokemon. So. Hitmon Lee comes out, oh. right into the middle. <laughs> then a uh, Magnemite comes out, okay. and a Totodile. Oh shit! <laughs> so, That's is this bad? Well, yeah, because uh, I don't know. Well, Are we still wet? And we have no. no. 
Everything's God. reset from the last battle. There's no conditions. All your PP are full. Everything is back to normal. <laughs> is bad because it's a water type? Do we have a ground type, which is bad in water? And, and a fire type. So I've rolled those those threes. So uh, one second. Let me just show it's. Let's see here. Let's say Brick's oh. the 15, Charlotte's the 13, and Salem's the 11. And if you guys want to change what you guys have, then. Yeah. Oh, I'm also 11. Oh, you'll go first because you have a higher dex modifier. Mm. 20. <laughs> so Do we all have 11? That's funny. Yeah. 11 crew. And Reggie, would you have five? I'm fine. So, this is the order of things. Uh, the officiator is going to walk into the middle. Um, you guys have all put your, your money on the line. The battle is ready. And he's like, battle. And he's going to back up. <laughs> he's small. Um, and the battle has started. Lee, you take the first action. Oh. Yeah, true. Yeah, okay. But I think you just want just for us to start. Oh, okay. So, but what did her opening do? Okay. Um. Wait. Where did she go? Okay. Sorry. I need to move my thingy. I'm sorry. Um. All oh right. My goodness. Yeah. You. Yeah. W wait. What were you doing? What? What were you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? Oh, I thought you just rolled a twenty for an attack. Sorry. Yep. Go. No, sorry. I, I was preemptively supportive. Sorry. I, I thought you uh, hit him already. Yes. Then say what you're doing and do it. Okay, so I am going to use. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use Ember on Magnemite. Um, Great. So let's see, it's seven. Shit. Is that it? Um. No, and let me think here. What do we? What do we want to happen? So absolutely not. You know, it's like you're going to sputter out. Um, and I think with that, is you're gonna, it does so bad, it, like it's such a bad false start that your initiative's gonna drop to a 14. You've no. already gone this round, but now Brick goes before you every subsequent round. No. Um, and then now it's Brick's turn, and he's gonna say, let's see here. Yeah, he's gonna say, you know, uh, Go just meditate for this one, real quick. Oh, God. Just gonna meditate. Wait, what, it... what... Oh, sorry. what? I was gonna ask what meditating does. It doubles its proficiency bonus when it comes to saving throws or attacking. Oh, God. Shit. Um, so now meditate. Med he has double. Oh, um, psychic is getting us fighting, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I double just read that as well. Yeah. Proficiency on attacks. So we need to take out this hit mom as soon as possible. Saves. And that's on concentration, so every time it gets hit, it has to make a save um, to try to keep that going. Okay. Um, and then he's like, great job. Now Charlotte, he's going to slap Charlotte. Not like slap, but like, you know, hit hit Charlotte. Wake up. And then Charlotte, it's her turn next. Um, she's going to groggily wake up. She's going to say, uh, self-destruct. And it's going to move what? right into the middle <laughs> of all, all six Pokemon. <gasps> and self-destruct. Let me just read this. Okay. So a massive explosion happens right around all, oh, all the Pokemon. Um, all creatures in the, in the area must make a deck save against... Oh, Shit. <laughs> Let's see here. A deck save against this thing, which is... Oh, it's only a 10. It's a DC 10. <laughs> okay. Um, so right now everyone's made it. Wait, let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me. I mean, yeah, I'm not... You're going to have to roll for sure. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Yay! Great. So you all make it, um, and I'll go over what happens in a second for you guys, but first I'm going to roll for them. I hope we don't lose so, it. So, <laughs> Lee is going to roll 
Oh, Hibon Lee literally can't fail, I don't think. Oh, that's awesome. Fucking hell. Um, it's a D10 and it gets plus nine. So it doesn't definitely doesn't fail. Um so Hib Hibon Lee succeeds and Toad the Dial. Okay, Toad Dial is a plus zero. Come so on. it has a half chance of succeeding. And it's yeah! so every single person succeeds. <laughs> um, but things still happen, I believe. Yeah. This isn't like a get out of jail free car. Let's see here. Damn. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm going to roll 5d6. Jesus. Um, And then you're going to take half of that. So it's probably not actually that much. You guys take, everyone takes 10. Oh my gosh. So the Magnemite floats out to the center explodes all of the pokemon are able to really quickly recover um but they each take the blast right so yeah, yeah they're each down 10 hit points at the start of the battle um and hitmon lee needs to make i need to look up what kind of oh no i only have six three concentration HP. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're just very pumped. Better free because we don't have the um the electric type in the game anymore. So true. This is Wait, true. What did you say? I said well it, this is good for Butterfree because if Butterfree's the last one hanging on, at least we don't have the electric one with the electric moves in the battle anymore. So mm -hmm. Oh, is Magmite like sacrificing themselves by this or is this just a move? Yes. Oh, it, this it, is a it, it's gone. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte just wants things to be right. Whatever you want to do. Like, I just want to go back to sleep. Let's end this now. <laughs> oh, same though. It needs to make a con save. Okay. So a con save for Hitmon Lee is a D20 plus two. And it makes it. Um, Cause it I mean, needs to oh. hit a 10. No, that's bad for you. So <laughs> the Magnemite explodes, you know, flutters down and the Hitmon Lee is able to concentrate on its meditation. And now it is Cymex's turn. Um, okay. I'm going to uh, blast Hitmonlee. With, Great. Uh, oh, I want to do grass. Okay. Um, the psychic beam, side beam. Side beam. Oh, I need to make a roll. You don't even have to roll for this because it automatically hits. So it's a D20. And it's a what? And Should I take out the attack? Seven then? Yeah. It's just DC fourteen. Okay. Um, is it an int? Um, it's Dex int whiz. It's this. What's it say for me to make though? No, what's it say? What's it say in the text? What does it need to make? Um against my move DC. Um so what in, in the thing it's gonna say it needs to make a blank save. What's that say? Does it say a dex int whiz? Save? Oh whiz I saw it. I'm sorry. Okay. Whiz. Uh, My brain is too focused on mm, eat orange. <laughs> so does a fifteen? Um, yeah, by one. So it's uh, actually, I think if it matches, it beats also. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not exactly positive. I, I looked it up, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't it's a 14, match. So. Um, so it it only takes half. So yeah, roll me damage. And oh, gonna, it does take half. Okay. Yeah, it takes half, and it's actually going to double that half. Yes. So it's going to take whatever you roll, really. Which is two d eight plus three. Jeez. Great. Yeah, please give me that amount. Big number. Three, what? Big number. 26. That's great. Cool. So it shoots out uh, the energy, and Hitmon Lee's able to like kind of hang on there, uh, and it gets hit, but it's not super terrible. It is in the yellow in just one round. This is a fast one, yeah. apparently. Oh my goodness. Um, Keep it going. Keep this energy up, y'all. <laughs> it needs to make another concentration, which it does. So it's still able to concentrate. And now it's Salem's turn. And his uh, Totodile is absolutely just going to try to spray water into Cubone's face. Into yeah. whose face? So we're going to roll a D20. Cubone. Ah. Come on. Oh, my. Let's see here. Plus three. Does a 14 Ooh. hit? 
it just matches. So it doesn't. That means it hits. It does? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, matching hits. Um so it sprays it in the face for sure. Um oh, looks like I should have Well, I messed up the order. It doesn't matter. Um D twelve plus We didn't notice one. It, was, it just would have more, done more damage. So oh, it sprays you in the face for 16 damage. Oh, and shit. then as its bonus action, it starts stamping its feet and it works itself up into a rage. Oh. Uh, Is this part uh, like barbarian rage? Yes. It actually oh. is. The move rage in this is the barbarian's like rage. Oh my god, no. So <laughs> uh, shit. It's, oh, it's shit. in a rage and now it's Reggie's turn. Uh. <laughs> Um, what's the difference between flinching and prone? Between what? Between flinching and like a target falling prone. Oh, flinching. Yeah. What is the difference between flinching and prone? Um, okay, yeah, those aren't at all the same thing. So prone is when you're lying down on the ground. So, um, you know, if someone pushes you, they can push you down and then you go prone. And if someone flinches, flinching is a mechanic in this game that certain moves, uh, it's a condition that they apply. So flinching is like when fake out hits you, you flinch. And that means that the rest of that round, like that turn, you have um, disadvantage on all your attacks. Okay. Yes. Okay. And prone, does that mean they just can't attack at all? Or? No, prone just means you're on the ground. You can do whatever you want when you're on the ground. You're just on the ground and it takes half your movement to stand up. Ah, okay. Yeah, so if I'm on the ground, I can still stab you, you know? I'm just like, it's just the worst stab. But if they are on the ground, melee attacks have advantage on them. So it's easier to hit someone that's on the ground just via melee. I see. And they have to spend half their movement to stand up. But yes. Okay, cool. Then I'm just going to use Bone Club on him on Lee. Great. So... Uh... Okay. Ah! And that was, that was his mini. Was yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I gotcha. So Lee, while well, it's meditating, just like steps, you know, slides out of the way of the bone club and <laughs> is continuing to meditate. Um, do you have anything else to do or is that the end of your turn? Uh, oh. That's it. And you need to move your character up so you're close enough to do that. Oh, Because right. you're the only person that made a melee attack, I think. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be Brick's turn. And Brick's... <laughs> going to it's going to do like a high jump kick right into Heidi so no! it's going to do a, a massive jump which is going to land it in between these two uh, and it's going to try to ki a kick so let's look at it. roll a d20 plus 9 oh, no. what it looks like oh no, oh, no. Oh no! Yeah. So it slams its foot into Heidi, and it's going to do. Let's see, two D twelve plus three, and it's going to do seventeen, but it doubles because you're dark type, so thirty four damage. No, Heidi, gone. No. Wait, wait, Lee, real quick. How much health does Heidi have? 29 and well she had um 19 before that hit oh i yeah i mean you'll definitely get knocked out but i'm pretty sure you didn't roll for health for your yeah. last level up so you should do that oh oh i um, didn't you're right i did not huh. i'll say this it won't save you i know <laughs> you're definitely out but you should yeah. do that while we're doing this um so add your con modifier which i think is plus two for heidi and roll a d6 and add that to your health um oh, but in so one cool. kick the hitmonlee slams down and just knocks Heidi back. Oh, um, and Heidi is, we're going to move her back, and Heidi is out of there. The Hitmonlee is intimidatingly standing there. Um, so now it is Lee's turn, but Lee's out. Can you use like a dark type thing? Oh yeah, I can, probably. Hang on, let me, uh, let me write right down something. I rolled a die. So let me just Confirmed, think. Barrett is poison, but only Lee knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lee guess. didn't mention it. No, yeah, I didn't. We didn't have time. Um, I mean, yeah. Okay. So whatever. Shut up, everyone. Just shut up. Um, <laughs> so can I try and use my dark type energy? Absolutely, you can try to use your dark type energy. Um, I want to. Can I use it on Pokemon or only on people? 
Um, wow, I'm surprised you asked it that way. Yeah, you can use it on anything. I'm just surprised you wouldn't think you could only use it on Pokemon. Yeah, you can use it on anything you want. Oh, Any yeah. individual that could be a threat, I guess, at this point. Because like that, the, the point is that like, you need to be threatened in some capacity. Not that they're threatening you right now, but like that Hitmonlee could be a threat, realistically, if you think about it like that. Okay, well then I'm going to try and use my dark type. I'm very upset that Heidi is knocked out because she's like my best Pokemon. Um, Great. So we're only so, Arcana check? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Okay. So you put your hand up, you know, trying to summon that dark energy that you did before. Mm -hmm. um, and you can kind of feel on the inside that uh, that energy is like coming to like your fingertips mm -hmm. but uh and, and like your hand but it doesn't break the surface or anything oh. um it's just it's it's swelling up inside you so you can feel like you're getting kind of close and if you do this a couple more time like a time or two more depending on like how good you are at it uh yeah. you might you might send out you might get that energy you want out okay um okay. 2018 so yeah, you have that. You can feel it inside you, kind of swelling up, but you're not able to actually summon any, and that's your turn. And then we'll go to Charlotte, who is out, and then we'll go to Cymax. Cymax, it's your turn. Um, what is Butterfree doing? Hey, Molly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do Psybeam to uh, hit hit Molly again. Um, cool. I have a question. Can I use the fairy? The fairy stuff is just for healing, not for revival. So I couldn't revive Heidi. Uh, we've never tried. You've never tried. Mm. You could also yeah, that'd be weird in the middle of a battle. Okay. You'd have to run out to it and try to yeah. heal it as well. And you yeah. wouldn't have enough movement. It's too far in one yeah. turn. You'd have to use your action to run out to it. Okay, I'm gonna do use side beam on hit mummy. And you're also not allowed to run out onto the battlefield, yeah. obviously. As a bunch of kids are not allowed where all the Pokemon are fighting. Um so it has a nine, so it, it misses the save, which means cool. you're gonna do full damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Full double damage, actually. Oh my god. So you let out that wave of psychic energy, and it smacks against uh, the Hitmonlee, which was too focused on its attack, and it gets blown back, doing double damage, and it knocks it out. It falls over. Oh my god. Oh. So good. And that means it's Salem's turn, and he's going to go for another uh, water spray to the face on... Uh, Cubone? It's dead. Nope, yeah. nope, that's not it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, that yeah. will hit. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So it sprays out 16 damage. Um, yeah, that, that knocks it out. Dang, this is a fast... Cubone's gone? The... No, Cubone's good. It's just oh. Butterfree left. So I'm gonna delete Cubone. Cubone's gone. Uh, not Cubone. I deleted uh, Hitmonlee. And yeah, Cubone gets sprayed and falls over. Uh, X is in its eyes, so it's just one v one, and that means it loops oh, past everyone. Um, Brick is like yelling, cheering on Totodile. Uh, Charlotte's sleeping. Podrick, do it. <laughs> Go. Yeah, Pod now it's Podrick's turn. God. Beam to, uh, yeah. Yes. Game to tote. Okay, so it is. I need to look at what its save would be. Cool. That's all it is. Ooh, oh, so it, it saves, so you do you still do half damage. Mm -hmm. So roll me that. Um and it does six damage, so it's a little shaken, it's still not in the yellow. Um, but it's it's its turn now, and oh, it I forgot it's raging. Yeah, so it takes half damage on whatever it does. That was. It actually, it only takes three, three damage, damage from that. Oh no! I love being a barbarian. <laughs> it's resistant to all. I mean, it says normal damage. I think it's resistant to everything that it's normally just normally affected by. Mm, um, mm -hmm. So now it's gonna roll its attack. It's it's. Uh, I think it's mad enough. It's it's stopping the sprain. Is just gonna run up and try to bite on the butterfree. Well, that's gonna release spore. A, a d20. Oh, it will. Well, it's raging. It doesn't think about that. Yeah, understandable. Plus four. So it's gonna try to bite and does a fourteen. 
Yeah, it hits. No, really? Okay. Yeah, so 14 bites on the Butterfree. And that will deal 2d8 plus oh. 2, 9 damage. Wow. Nothing. That's nothing. Phew. Nothing. And um, then what happens? You doing, uh, are you doing that thing? The, yeah, reaction stuns for. Yeah, um, oh, and that's a con save? Oh. Sorry. Hello? It's a good thing Simex evolved their Pokemon. Yeah, right? <laughs> Okay, so it, um, it's what? gonna. Uh, I just rolled this con save. It's gonna make it. Okay. It's gonna make the con save, um, and now it is. Wait, is this concentration? Oh, it is concentration. It needs to roll to see if it holds concentration. Which it does, just barely. It matches what it needs to to roll to keep concentration. So it's still raging. And that mm -hmm. would mean now it's Cymex's turn. Um, okay. Um, side beam again. You can do it. You can do Great. it. Great. Oh, I need to roll for that. Man, I have to roll all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. That's I why I chose to roll this everything. <laughs> so it does not make it. You do full damage. Well, it gets halved because it's raging, but... Yeah. Um, so it's three damage again. Yeah, so just three damage, uh, but oh, since yeah. it was hit, it now needs to do concentration, uh -huh. um, which it makes. So just yeah. barely. Oh. And on its turn, it's going to jump up and try to uh, do another bite. Roll a d20 plus four, eight. Nope. So it misses, nice. and now it's uh, it's your turn. Side beam again. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that means I need to roll. Uh -huh. <laughs> it does not make it, so yeah, roll yeah. me damage. It's it's take five, okay, okay. It's good. Five of that. And then it's, um, ooh, it Holy makes shit. it easily makes its rage, and it's so angry that it's gonna it's gonna make the next one no matter what too. Yeah. Um, and so now it's its turn. Right? Its turn. And it missed the last bite, so it's going to try to spray Butterfree. Um, what that fight? Peas on Butterfree? What is it? It's going to try to spray water out of its mouth at 12. Does not hit. Yeah, I would hope not. And it misses. Um, it's still angry, but its turn is over. Side beam. It's your turn? Side beam. Oh, you said that. Didn't hear that. You're Very good. nice. It makes it because your thing's a 14 and it gets got a 14. Okay. Come on. Bring it home. So half damage? Yeah, I'm double halves. Do so, so roll us some damage. So it's going to take three. It's just taking three damage. Um, it's like watching two little old men just kind of <laughs> like. <laughs> and it's going to roll to see if it loses concentration. We know it doesn't because it made yes. it last time, but I rolled, so I, I'm going to take it, and it was an at one. So it loses cons it loses its rage, um, and it feels like it won't be able to rage for like another, at least another turn or so because it did so bad on this one. Um, mm -hmm. And it's going to try to go for another spray. 20. Hell yeah, that hits. It's fine. You're uh, so much okay. I know. I'm at 54 still. Oh, you're at 54. Okay, so you take seven. <laughs> so just seven damage. Um, oh my seven. goodness! Yeah, there's no way you're gonna lose. <laughs> yes. it's just a matter of time. Side beam. Uh, yeah, so it's it's your turn, and everyone. I would say the other team is like really winding down about how much they care. Like, I mean, like, you're just like holy shit. Like, let's go. Like, let's let's end this. And it misses. So side beam does full damage, and it, yeah, it's full it's damage. It's no longer raining, so I'm told you. <laughs> So you, you hit Totodile with 12 damage, and it leaves it just barely standing in the red. It's, like, right there. Um, and the Totodile 
Uh, with being so close to death, it's going to rage one more time. And let's see. Does it a 12? No. So it misses that, and it's your turn. Finish it all. Yes, I do. Okay. How do you want to do it? Because Psybeam automatically will hit, and it'll do enough damage. So how, how does Psybeam take this thing out? Um, Butterface just like, what? Just like a little like, <laughs> ah! Like frustrated. <laughs> And then, like, it, like, lightly hits Totodile. And, yeah, it's anger just lightly gets hit, and then it falls over. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and Salem and Brick are like, oh, that was kind of anticlimactic. But <laughs> they'll come out to the center. Oh, my God, yes. Carrying Charlotte, of course. Good nice. game. I got Good game. Um, called. I will be, like, right back. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll just continue with stuff that doesn't really impact anything. Um, so they'll like shake your hand. They'll take all of the Pokemon and go and heal them. Um, mm -hmm. And while they're doing that, the scoreboard's going to tick up two. So you guys are two zero right now. Nice. Um, and the uh, well, yeah, what, what are you guys going to say to them? Cymex is apparently paying attention to their Butterfree or whatever. Uh, so, I'm just gonna go up to Salem and Brick and be like, "Hey, good game, guys." Yeah. We didn't really do much, but. <laughs> but that was the first time any of our Pokemon on our team were knocked out. So I say, "Good match." <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, who'd you guys fight first? They didn't even knock anything out. We it was Ben, Hope, and Barrett. Yeah. So team two. Oh. Yeah, they don't seem like they'd be. I mean, Vin seems like she'd be good at fighting, but the other two, I don't think they're gonna have a lot of strong Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, that's basically how it turned out. Wait, who did you guys fight before? We fought. Let me look real quick. We fought Willow's team. Mm -hmm. And we. Sorry, I like have it if they lost or one blade, but yeah, it's like we lost. Oh. Yeah, they worked as a better team than I thought they would. Willow kind of like took control and Debbie. Yeah, they, they 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 just got us. Is it Willow, Debbie, and Mickey on the one team? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So, but I think I think we still have some good chances to beat some other people. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys did. Yeah. Like, we almost lost. And we get good too. So. Yeah, I can't believe you guys that Butterfree really uh, really fucking shit on us. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what? He has a warrior spirit. Yeah. Yeah, so they're just talking about how they lost Cymax and how your Butterfree kind of stomped uh, uh, their team a little bit. Um, and that Charlotte just woke up and killed her Pokemon right away. We didn't want her to do that, but she keeps doing it. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't last one too? Yeah, apparently that's just what, that's why she taught it self destruct, is so she didn't have to battle. Which wow. is really cool. Really cool. <laughs> Why would someone like that even come to this camp? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. And then they're like, they're like nudging her, but she isn't, she isn't awake or anything like that. <laughs> Definitely asleep. So um, as you guys are talking to them, the guys are going to come back with their Pokemon and hand them. They're all healed up, all the PPs back, all that stuff. Um, and you're going to see like the other battles look like they, they ended and the, the tickers move up and everything. And as, this time Autumn's going to come by. And say who who won? Team one. Okay, so you guys stay. One. The losers will move. Um, and it looks like you guys will be fighting team four next. Just working your way up, which mm -hmm. is Willow, Nikki, and Debbie. Oh, She's shoot. gonna leave to get them, and the other group is gonna leave as well. They're gonna say, "Hope you do well." As they Thanks. leave. Thanks. Thanks. You you too. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. So they leave, and uh, yeah, you guys can talk whatever as their group is starting to come in. Does oh. Heidi get revived? Yes, everything. Ha yep, they're back all back up to full. Okay. okay, so Willow, Debbie, and Nikki. All right, so Debbie's gonna good. have Butterfree. Uh -huh. Yeah, Willow's... that's good. You should do that. That's Willow's... a good ice type, right? Willow's ice type, and Nikki is bug type. But she has a dust goal now too. Mm -hmm. Both have dust goals. I think I'm gonna send out Houndory. I mean Heidi again. No, I think that's good. Yeah. 
Um, I'll send out OB because he has bite. And he's also normal type. And then Slimex just send out Burger. I mean, right. hopefully Slimex will bring it home again. <laughs> yeah. Basically. I'm going to put mine to the left. You can put yours on this. Side. Yeah. Okay. Just for some variety. Sure. So you guys have locked in all your Pokemon? Mm -hmm. yes. We have, yeah. Great. So the other group is going to walk out. They'll meet you in the middle before you guys throw out your Pokemon, you know, do the handshaking thing. Yep. Um, as everyone pulls back, I think uh, Will is going to grab onto Lee real quick. <gasps> Just pull her in a little closer. Uh huh. Just like, you know, Lee, uh, my second account might have a new person to follow if someone were to throw. <gasps> you wouldn't. <laughs> Um, I would not. <laughs> but I'm not going to let her know that. I'll be like, okay, I'll think about it. Thanks. Okay, well, you actually have to do it, but okay. Well, how are you going to throw Butterfree? Like, fuck okay. it. What, Willow? She doesn't know that. As long as... is the, 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 That's what she says. And Lee oh, is sorry. middling. Mm -hmm. uh, and Willow walks back. And is a little unsure of what, what to expect. Keep but, her on her uh, toes, Lee. Yeah. Hmm? Keep her on her toes, Lee. So they're oh, going to throw their whisper, Pokemon. Like, oh, what'd she say? Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. Oh, uh, she just said something about me like cleaning up my side of the room. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. <laughs> Wait, does that work? Do we believe it? Probably, yeah. <laughs> well, do you, do you believe it? You can always make insight checks on each other if you want, but... She's my friend, I believe her. Yeah. Okay. What, you... <laughs> mm -hmm. what the fuck are these? That's a ladybug. Mm -hmm. That's it. Murkrow and Snowrun. Murkrow is dark. <clears throat> Snowrun is true. Yeah. Ladybug is fine. Mm -hmm. I just look it up on Bulbapedia and it has like the list of like things that it's like weak and stuff to. Yeah. Bulbapedia. Oh yeah, we need to roll for initiative, right? Yes. Yes, you should. That'd be great. Um so you're gonna roll oh, thank you. three D twenty. I'm gonna roll three D twenties. Ever rolled in the game ever. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so I have a question for Eric. Um, Ask away. Okay, it's about my move smog. And yeah. it's on a point. Okay, oh, it's just centered on a point within range. So for the move smog, could I possibly use it and like aim it at a point within range so it isn't hitting any of my team's Pokemon? Or is it just from my Pokemon? You know, like the range? Uh, no, I think it it says pretty clearly, yeah, like like you just read point within range. Um, okay. Let's see here. Okay. How Sorry, big what? is the fog? A 15 foot range? Yeah, so either from that Wait, point. So like you the smog is 15 feet and you can oh, go 15 so, feet? Smog has a range of 30 feet. Oh, like, yeah. So you could put it like back here. I could put it like, yeah, I could put it here. Yeah. Uh, well, with how far they are away, you probably want to put it like right on the Murkrow and it would hit That's all of them. I was thinking like yeah. right here, basically. Yeah, I think what right on the that? Murkrow works. Sorry. What are you saying? What is this Pokemon? Snowrunt. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. You're welcome. That's okay. a point. Start on okay. Yeah, that's a good. They're already out of the smog. Yeah, you're right. And then we can just fuck them up after. Fuck them up. Great. So yeah. it is. Uh, wait. Oh, well, we should start. So everyone's taking their pre breaks, and the guy. You guys are all ready and waiting. Battle is tense to start, and the guy walks in. He's like, "Battle!" And then he backs <laughs> out. Uh, Where did like, this guy? <laughs> he's he's just a ranger, you know, and he, oh. he officiates. Battles. Weddings um, and battles. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Reggie, please uh, go first and tell me what you're doing. All right, I'm going to do bite on Leva. 
We'll do both. Absolutely, please do. So there was strip. That hits, so you run up and you bite onto nice. one of its little hands. Oh, good. Oh, VP. Seven damage. Um, cool. And it takes seven damage. Nice. So that is that. And then, Lee, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to use smog. Great. Um, let me make sure. Sorry. Okay. So DC. It just happens. Right? It yeah, does. Wait. It just happens, and that's it. And then oh, on their okay. turn, some things will happen. And just so um, you know, I'm, I'll show you where I'm aiming it. I'm putting it like right here. Can you like? Can you draw on it instead of putting yeah. your? Yeah. I'm gonna mark. Yeah. Just Wait, <laughs> it needs to be closer to the Murkrow. It was beneath the Murkrow, and to hit all of them, because they're like ten feet apart each. I know it doesn't look that far, but like each one of those little blocks is five feet. Maybe here. So. Yeah. Maybe yeah, I think that'll, that'll hit them all. That'll hit them all and not hit any. Well, technically, this thing needs to be up here. Let's look here. I think yeah. I think that won't hit Houndour. I, don't, I think that only hits them. The move has a 30 foot radius, though. No, it, the, you, the cloud has a 15 foot radius. Yeah. But you can but move you, it out to 30. Um, uh -huh. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. I lied. You don't need to move there. I, yeah. I, I was thinking. I was thinking you were Lily Pup needs to move up. Oh, but yeah. oh no. Because um, Lily Pup wants to bite. Know. And actually, you need to place yourself because you might be within range, and you need to place yourself like you didn't know this smog was happening. And, oh. and that could be out of range. I don't know. I you just need to place. Oh, there you go. Really like Perfect. You. Look at that. You knew expertly thinking that your teammate would smog. And, well, uh, we strategized we before. We did. Oh, you did. Right? Great. Yeah, I, I just said you guys knew expertly. Great oh. job. Um, <laughs> you run up and bite, and the smog happens. And now it's yeah. going to be Devi's turn. So her Murkrow starts its uh, phase there, which means it needs to roll a con save. Or take damage. And what's the save? What does it need to beat, Lee? So what is your con move um, DC? What is your move DC? 13. Oh, wait. Okay, it fails. It, I yeah. didn't even need to know it because it failed for sure. Wait, that's, um, that's what the thing is. How, how much oh. is your move? Oh, sorry, 13. 13. Okay, well, it fails. So it's going to take 1d4 move damage. So roll me that. Okay. Um, and it's poisoned. Okay. Well, it's one d six now. Oh, that's right. One d six plus two. Cool. So it's gonna take three damage. Um, thirty seven, and it's poisoned. So it's gonna fly up. Um, over here, and it's going to be like 30 feet up in... No. It's going to be 20 feet up in the air, and it's going to move over here. So it's without of range of any melee attacks, and it's 20 feet up. Okay. Um, just so you know. Uh, so it's out of the smog for sure, and then Devi is going to use an antidote on it. So that's her turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he uses the antidote, and then it's Willow. And Willow will also start in this, so roll me a... a a D4? Oh, you know, it might be a D6 now because you're a higher level. Yeah. It's a D6. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D6. That's Two. great. Two. Great. So it'll take, this thing will take two damage, and then I need to look at what its con two, save is. One. What was that? It should be plus two, not plus one, my roll. Yeah, your move is two instead of one. Yeah, I don't know why I had it plus one, but it should be plus two, so. Next three. Next time. Cool. So it's so it does three damage. Okay, I'll move up one of the nice. each of the damages by one. Cool. So it does a little bit more damage, and then this thing has to make a con save, and you said it needed to beat thirteen. Yeah. Fail, fail, fail. Oh. So it beats a thirteen. Uh, a little bit. 
and but, it's but. it's gonna hop off away from there and go over to this side of this butterfree. Oh. And it's gonna use powder snow on it. Oh no. Oh no. So okay. roll. Flying is weak against ice. Yes. It's okay, gonna roll gosh. a d20 plus five, so a ten. Does not make it. Nice. So it misses that, and then um, it's gonna roll as its bonus action. It's gonna try to do an ice shard, um, oh, which is another ice attack. Unsurprisingly, it's gonna be the same thing. So fourteen. Yeah, that hits. So it's gonna do a d6 of damage, doubled, so it does six damage to oh, Butterfree. Oh no, that is so awful. Cool. And now it's uh, Nikki's turn, who will also take, if you wanna roll me damage, Lee. Mm -hmm. Oh. Great, so four damage. So this lady but takes four more damage. And let's see here. Oh dang it! I really need to look at these moves and actually know them <laughs> uh, before There's the so battle many. starts. Yeah. Anyways, this thing needs to roll a con save. Plus one. And it makes it, so it's not poisoned. And then it flies. It's just gonna fly up twenty-five feet straight up. So it's. Uh, if someone wants to write like 25 next to it, that'd be awesome. Um, so it's not within melee range. And then it's going to throw out Swift. And Swift automatically hits. So it's going to throw out uh, all three of its Swifts into Heidi. Oh, okay. Roll the three D4s. Wait, was it Ladybug or Murkrow that was 25 feet in here? No, Ladybug uh, 25. Murkrow's only 20. That's accurate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and so yeah, that's 25, Murkrow is 20, and it's done 8 damage to Heidi, and now it is Symex's turn. Um, uh, Symex, uh, oh, real quick, sorry. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Lilypup gets to attack Ladybug as it leaves its range if it wants to. Yes. Attack of opportunity. Hell yeah. Let's do it. And I don't have to do an uh, attack roll for that? No, you do. Okay. It's just normal attack. Whatever um, attack takes one action. Also, you should tell me next time that happens. Like, I know I just told you, but you should be, you should say I get like an attack of opportunity because otherwise I'll forget, like I did. Yes, okay. Damn. So, yeah, you'll try to bite it or whatever you were trying to do and it misses. So it snaps at it and it flies away um, okay. too quick for you. And now it's Cymex's turn. Um, if I wait, if I leave here, does Snowrunt and Murkrow both get attacks of opportunity? Only Snowrunt, because Murkrow's 20 feet up, but Snowrunt will get to attack you. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'm going to fly up to Leva. Okay. Yeah. So as you're flying away, this thing is going to attack you. Does a 19 hit? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me just look at... I need to find how much damage it does. Roll a d12. Absolutely none. Come on. Three. So, 12? so it does 12 because it doubles because um, you're flying. So it's going to spray you with some powder snow and it's going to do some damage, but it's not going to do a ton. And now you can continue with your turn. I'm going to gust Lady Buff. I'm right. like up, right up next to it. Great. Um, so that is. 20 plus 7. Yes. Crit! Yep, you hit. Roll, uh, oh, wait. I just realized... Oh, you're going to gust. Yes, yep, go. Yeah. Roll me oh, some damage. Double damage, too. We'll just roll damage, and then we add the, the max. No, we don't need double. Yes, great. So it does 22 damage, but that's doubled, I believe. Oh, my God. Because I don't think flying resists flying. Shit. 44 damage. Oop, yep. I minimized everything. So yeah, 44 damage flies <laughs> into the lady buff, and it just gets knocked out and falls <laughs> to the ground. Oh my god. Um, in one turn, yeah, just uh, gets destroyed. Yeah. You know, 25 is my 25. <laughs> <laughs> and you've taken over its spot. Um, King of the skies. Queen of the skies. That's not a melee attack. So Reggie, it's your turn now. 
right, I'm gonna attack the snorunt with yes. bite. See. Okay, yeah, move move up next to it. Yes. Move so, up next to it. Okay. And then you can do and then you'll hit. Yes. Okay, yes. So here right, move move your no closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to be close. Yeah. Alright. So twenty-three. The tiles are small. Yeah, they hit it hits. And then so you bite onto it. Yes. So Fangs eight. digging into its icy body, its chilled body. What? Probably, hopefully, you have your gums not receding so they don't get too cold. And then you use 16 damage. <laughs> I'm training for this moment. I'm popsicles after dinner. <laughs> um, and you just knock it down into the yellow nice. as it like freaks out as you're biting onto it. And now it's Lee's turn. All right. Well, I'm also going to get. Heidi to move up close to the snow run uh -huh. and she is going to use well, I guess she doesn't have to be that close um I'm gonna get her to use ember yep. um, on snow run great so, let's see. does that hit it does yes. So now I do one D twelve plus three, which is four. Yeah. Eleven times two. Yep. So you send out a, a big flame, right? Uh, and it just hits into it, yes. doing double damage, and it knocks it over. Yes. It's uh, it falls over to the ground, but it's also still kind of being held up by Lily Pup's mouth, biting into it. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's fainted. Yay. So now it's uh Devi who is going to fly over to here and Dance. match right. match like, the... Devi is gonna fly over there? Yeah, Devi's flying. Um Damn, powerful. And it's gonna ma it's gonna go like a little bit above, so like maybe like twenty seven feet. Um right. and it's gonna try to peck. Oh, that's melee. Melee. It is a melee. Oh. Um, can I use a reaction on it too? Nope. She's 20 feet up. Well, with like baby doll eyes, has a range of 30 feet. Yep, you can. No, you can't. You're way too far. Because oh. she'd be like, right, you'd be like 15 feet from her, and then she's also like 27 feet up. Oh. That's, that's farther than 30. So you're just out of range. Okay. Um, uh, but yes, normally you could. Great job calling that out. Um, just not this time. Sure. Um, so here's yeah. this. So it's 21 Aww. to hit. And then that's going to hit for sure. And it does 14 because it'll double. And then it okay. needs to make a con save. Mm -hmm. And it makes it. So it just barely is able to make Shit. and dodge all the spores. And it is, uh, like I said, like 27 feet up. And Snow Runt is gone. And now Great it's... job, Lee. <laughs> Cymax's turn. Oh, no. Um, Murkrow is going to not get a psychic. That is going to... We're going to try to gust this fucker away. Great. Um, which means... 220 plus 7. Fuck! I couldn't. Uh, okay, so you're gonna like gust, you know, send a big wave of uh, energy. I'm I'm gonna say that you all the the PC, the other two Pokemon, you guys should move them five feet farther away from Butterfree. Okay. So like the gust doesn't hurt you, but it, like it pushes you back. The air pushes your your Pokemon back five more feet. Um, yeah, that looks great. And then it's Reggie's turn. Okay, um, I don't have any range improves, but I'm gonna have Lily Pup like run underneath uh, Butterfree. Uh, it's maybe like 30 feet. Is that enough? Yeah, it was 30 feet. I think you can get there, yeah. And then I wanna use Helping Hand on it. Okay. So. Wait, what's the range on that? It's 60 feet. Oh, yep. nice. Great. Love that. So the ally can add a D6 to one ability check, a tackle, or saving throw it makes in the next 10 minutes. Hmm. Before the result is called by the DM. So 
So. Okay, gotcha. So remember that, and you have it. Um, and then it's Lee's turn, I believe. All right. Um. Well, I mean, I don't think. Can does Ember? It only has a thirty foot range. Yeah. Is it sixty? I don't know. Well, is it thirty? Oh, you know it is sixty. Oh, Excuse yeah. me, it's sixty. So you can also move, can't you? Yes. Oh yeah, true. I can. Well, I'll move closer too. So I think it's. Um. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna move her here, and I want her to use Kimba. Nineteen. Great. So that hits. Yeah, boy. The fire flies up and hits Murkrow as it's flapping against Butterfree. Easy peasy. Ten damage. So yeah, it takes ten damage. It's still in the green. Um it's still in the green. Oh my goodness, it's been two turns. Like what do you want? You know? It's been like twelve seconds. <laughs> like it hasn't been that long. Where's <laughs> two Yeah, the one yeah. <laughs> Um I yeah, probably needed to make these things stronger, but I'm not going to change them. So you're just going to wipe the floor, I guess, with everyone else. Come on, me was a little scary. I'll True. admit it. Yeah. yeah. So it tries to pack. I should have said it tries to pack Butterfree, but it's going to miss. Um, and then. No, I can't even. It can't even like get away or anything like that. Not really. <laughs> Flank this bastard. No. It doesn't have a way to... Nope, so it's it's just going to stay floating there, and now it's Cymex's turn. Ghost? Great, so that hits. Yep. Um, D6 plus 4. Finally, a gust hits. Mm. Great. Um, it's probably more than a D6. Oh, sorry, it's, D, it's 2D12. Wait, it's 2d12? Yeah, it's 2d12. Holy crap. It's 1d12. It's 1d12. Yeah, that sounds more right to me. Because I was like, there's no way it goes from 1d6 to 2d12. That's absurd. So yeah, roll me that. That one? Okay. Or just roll that again? works. So you'll you'll hit it with a gust uh, this time after... It does a little bit of damage, and it does a lot of damage, and then it does a middle amount of damage, and um, <laughs> it, it settles on that middle one. And you've done 15 damage. It's down into the yellow pretty heavily. Uh, and cool. it is Reggie's turn. Reggie? I guess I'm going to... Uh, I guess I'll just use Helping Hand on, um, uh, on Heidi. So Great. That's a thing now. You use Helping Hand Heidi, and then Lee, it's your turn. Oh, shit. I have I forgot to add Helping Hand things. Yes. So now you guys can add D6 to anything. Thanks, To bud. an actual or an ability check or a saving throw. But not the damage, just to hit. Yeah. Before I say if it hits or not. Yeah. Or, you know, saving throw, all that stuff, too. But. Um, I'm going to how to use Ember again. Yeah. On Murkrow, obviously. So, does that mm. hit? On Butterfree. <laughs> oh, wait, so you're not using Helping Hand? But you can use a Helping Hand. Of course, that means. So it adds a D6 to your roll. Oh, shit. But I so. can't say if it hits before you say if you want to do that. No. Okay, wait, I want to do that. I want to do that. Yeah, you do Great, then do it. I'll have done it regardless. So roll D6 plus nothing. Okay. It hits. Hey, okay. Yeah. The fire hits it. Let's see how much damage it does. How did you send this while you were talking? Uh, I sent it earlier. Oh, I just got it. Oh, yeah, it probably just came through. This is so funny. Thank you. Yeah. How do you want to knock it out? Ah, it's... Knock out of the sky like a missile. <laughs> yeah, I want to hit it and then it falls to the ground like a roasted duck. <laughs> Just like a murder. Yeah, it's like sizzling. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> okay, absolutely. That that happens. Um, and it's gonna hit on the ground, uh, roasted, all yeah, ro roasted duck. We're so scared. Uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely freaks out about that and wants to go check out the damage. It's not uh, dead. What? It's not dead. <laughs> no, no, obviously not. Uh, you don't kill Pokemon. Uh, Willow is giving you uh, an angry eye as she walks up towards the middle. And Nikki is a little indifferent. I mean, she wanted to win, but she wasn't. I'm just going to avoid eye contact with Willow. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So they'll go for, like, the handshakes. Everyone's going for the handshakes? Yes. Y'all doing those? Okay, Lee, your hand's going to get squeezed really hard as you avoid eye contact. <laughs> um, and then, uh, let's see here. Debbie's going to say you guys did a great job. She's like, great job, guys. Thank really you. beat Thanks. us. Oh. Bless you. Definitely not next time, though. We'll get you next time. And Nikki's already, like, drawing. I'll tell oh. to, I'll, I'll tell you to Debbie, like, oh, I thought you were going to use the dust gold that we caught. Nah, that thing's only level three, man. This thing's level four. She's playing uh, during Murkrow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to use a level three dust skull. <laughs> no, no, no. Plus, don't you have a bite on that thing? It could hurt me way more. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> what was it, like 20 minutes ago where we fought that dust noir? <laughs> no, it was like three hours, but... <laughs> and you used bite? Yeah. Um, I, remember, I can remember things. That's like a steel trap up here. <laughs> like a ghost trap, actually. Oh. Yeah. One of those... What are those Ghostbuster ones called? They have Ghostbusters in this world, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that's like a, a similar type movie, uh, but they bust ghost type Pokemon. Don't cross the beams. <laughs> so she's referencing that and doing actions like that. Um, as the guy comes and collects all the Pokemon and goes to heal him, uh, you guys will get your $200 from each one. So now you have at this point won $300, $600 yeah. um, oh, sure. with your three wins. The winner, the win meter ticks up to three. Um, three and zero. So you guys are. Really stomping these motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> apparently. As the main characters, we should. Yes. <laughs> you guys, I mean, you guys know you're the main characters. At least they don't. The other people don't know you're the main characters. They, they think you guys are just motherfuckers. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're the main characters of our lives. We're the main motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like yeah, you guys, are you guys, you guys saying anything else to them? Are you guys saying anything to each other? Or what, what what's happening before Hi. he comes back? We work so well as a team. Yeah. Can I show? Is it Nikki who's the drawer? Yeah. Um. Can I show her one of my drawings? Uh. Yeah. And she'll say, "That's great. What is it?" I don't know. <laughs> well, it's, it looks great. I, I can really get the emotion from it. You were probably feeling pretty angry and jealous from this. No. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I can't get the emotion from it. I guess I'm not as good of an art critique as I thought. I mean, I'll just have to keep practicing to get to your level. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? And she drew like she's drawn like your guys' battle. Um, pretty much her ladybug getting cra like crapped on, more or less. Oh. That happened like right away. It's like, yeah. I guess I I I, I draw every time they get defeated, you know. <laughs> Oh, kind for, like, inspiration. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, not to, like, show them and make them feel bad. That would be mean. Um, just to, yeah. No, no, no. Not, not to do that. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, cool. And you owe me tape, Lee. She adds that in. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. I'll buy you some more. <laughs> as, as the guys, the guy walks back and hands you guys your Pokemon. Um, so you guys are done with this one. And uh, Autumn will come back. Say great, you guys won. We'll we'll go to the next round. You'll be against Team Five, which is Anne, Clyde, and uh, Sarah. Sarah. Anne. So this team will leave since you guys won. You guys get to stay again. Um, Sweet. And sure. I assume uh, before we start that, it's been four hours. Are we ending here oh. for the next battle? I think maybe so. 